Hello everyone, oh, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're going to be continuing our live playthrough through Arkham Horror, the card game, The Nunwitch Legacy. This is episode 8, I believe. We're playing Where Doom Awaits. If you're looking for the first episodes from the series all the way up until this point and wonder how we got here and why we have cards in our decks that are different than the beginning, whatever, uh, that's in a playlist link down in the video description uh, where you can check out all the other episodes from the series. Uh, in the playlist section uh, over on our YouTube page, you can also find our playthrough of the campaign Night of the Zealot. And we have already scheduled the episode for next week on Sunday where we'll be playing Lost in Time and Space, I think, or something like that. Uh, that is also in that playlist link down in the video description. You can already set a reminder for it uh, so you don't miss it. And big shout out to Yogi. I believe just became a Patreon if those notifications popping up were correct. But Yogi, thank you for the support uh, to the you. channel. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for becoming a patron. You appreciate it. Thank you, of course, for all the work you do suggesting options yeah. every week on how we should upgrade our decks. I appreciate your, yeah. your effort there. It's amazing. Uh, obviously, Bob, to appreciate. And Kate knows, of course. <laughs> you know, thank you, everyone else. But uh, I guess that support is punishment for confusing you. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 it's all good. Uh, so speaking of, uh, you just reminded me uh, about being confused, which is us. So last week's episode, Corrections, uh, Mel, or we both didn't realize, we forgot about the attachments, I guess, on the, yeah. on the Rougarou, or, uh, that actually applied to Retaliate also, duh. Yeah. Uh, so there was a point where Mel, I think, got a Retaliate on Jenny from the Rougarou, we didn't count um, the, the extra damage from those attachments that were on it. So she should have died, but then Yogi says we should have just resigned the turn before and not have been stupid yeah, and realized that that damage was there, so why bother? Yeah, because when we were when I was counting it out, I thought I, based on not counting the attachments, I knew I could survive that turn. And then, yeah. so I could have, yeah, we could have so uh, I, I resigned one turn earlier. Yeah, so we'll just, I think it's, Correct to just resign one turn earlier, pretend it happened, so Mel didn't die either way. Because we we're going to resign anyway, and we yeah, do that. Yeah, It was just like kind of silly to do another turn where you're going to die. So it should be good, but I still died. That all still happened. Uh, or Zoe, sorry, Zoe died. Uh, one thing that was also mentioned uh, that we corrected in the deck lists that are down in the video description. Um, we forgot, or I forgot to take out uh, the... That powder, powder Ibn, 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 Ibn Ghazi. Ibn Ghazi or whatever. Mel took it out of her deck yeah. properly when she should have, but I just didn't remove it from the deck list on Arkham DB. So there's a comment about she shouldn't have that in her deck anymore, which yeah. she didn't. Which we I checked. didn't. Yeah, yeah. I, I checked my deck. We checked. She didn't have it in her deck for the last scenario or whatever. She took it out the one before or whatever. I just didn't remove it from the deck list, but it should be removed from the deck list uh, in the link that's in this video to the new updated deck list. Um, also, uh, there was rules, and you guys can tell me if this is correct or not. I didn't look it up yet, but I read this morning uh, that Curse of the Rougarou card, the weakness that I got, uh, that was in play when I when Zoe died. She had it in play. I just put it back with the Rougarou stuff, not realizing when I was cleaning up the board. Um, but supposedly that is supposed to stay with me. So that goes, I guess when I discard all the cards, that goes to my discard pile. Uh, which then goes back into my deck, I guess, is, is what was said in the comments the last video. So I have it sleeved. It's going in my deck. Uh, but let me know if that's wrong or right or if anybody else knows. Um, I just haven't looked it up. So the Curse of the Ruguru weakness I got that was forced at the end of your turn. If you have not dealt any damage this turn, take one horror. Which I'm assuming I keep. And that's why it, some of the recommendations were all about, like, let's heal the horror from Zoe. Let's, let's prevent horror from Zoe. Like, you know, that kind of stuff, which makes sense. And hello, everyone joining hello, us live in the chat. Hello, hello. Yeah, there. I see the chat's uh, kind of kind of moving quickly there. I'm, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm missing it. I can go back up, see if there's any questions mm -hmm. or anything. Uh, Anders, hello. Yes, uh, but we corrected that about the weakness, so that's good. Yeah, Thank you for thanks for the awesome that playthrough. By the way, did Rob add the Curse of the Ruger? Oh, okay, that's what yeah. I was just talking about. Thank you Perfect. for bringing that back up. Yeah. I, I didn't, sorry, I didn't see your chat, but that's great. <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying to go through that. Uh, I have that out in front of me here to remind myself. Uh, 
Bob has started and there are only seven likes. Come on, people, show your support. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they don't know if they like yeah, it yet. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's still too early. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta wait until we're playing first and see if they like our, you know, our attitude, how we're playing, or you know. Yeah. Are they having Are we entertaining you enough? Yes. Are they enjoying the stream? <laughs> Click the like button. You can't you can't just right up front, I've learned. You can't right up front being like, you yeah. know. Click the like button or else. We gotta give it some time. It's like, wait, wait. Sometimes you gotta earn that like button, I've been told. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how it works around here. But that's, that's we could do it either way. But Brian the Bouncer is at the door and he wants yep. your like before you come in. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Orbit, happy, happy Sunday. Sunday. Yes. Velko says, no harm done. I think you also had one card that gave one HP. If it reached zero HP and sleeping costs with me. Yeah, I did. I did. You're right. Um, yeah. I don't know if I had that equipped when Kazumi hit five HP. But either way, either way, it's fine. It's one of the cards that was equipped. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. May have just lost Cynthia. Sword and Sorcery Arcane Portal just arrived. Oh, hey, enjoy. That's not an issue. Enjoy Cynthia, Cynthia, have fun. No, I would never be upset if somebody no. is playing a board game and not watching the stream. That's like, I'm here to promote board gaming, tabletop gaming. It's like, that's what we do here, right? So Yeah, actually, I don't know. Cynthia, have you even made it this far? I know last one week you had said that you were not getting spoiled. So I don't know if you have already played through Dunwich. Dunwich? Whatever we want to call it's it. It's done, witch. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Frederick says, "Hey, Robin Mel, due to the pro due to a problem with the link between my credit card and PayPal, certain payments didn't go through last week. Don't know if this is the case for my Patreon. Should be okay now. Uh, oh. It's okay. Figure it out on your end. If if you don't, if it doesn't yeah. go through, like, hey, don't you don't it's even okay. need to say anything. It's all good. Yep." Don't care. If you yeah. don't stop supporting us, Frederick, it's all good. You know, we appreciate the support, but yeah, don't, I'm not, I'm yeah, not don't worried. Don't stress about that. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. Don't worry yeah. about it. All good. Um, thank you for your support, of course. Yes, thank you. Either way. Either way. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I know how the, like, getting a new credit card, changing numbers and all that stuff, having to update it in different databases. If you don't yeah. do it, you get emails from companies like, your expiry date passed. Where's your new thing? It's like, oh, yeah. Whoops. Whoopsie doodle. Uh, James Roberts here, one of our one of our new members, YouTube members. Thanks for joining the channel, uh, James. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you, James. Thank you, thank you. Good morning. Are you not entertained? Yeah. Uh, at least a like for Mel's awesome shirt. Oh, you like it? <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Oh, Nuno. Nuno was the one. Yeah, Nuno. Greetings from Portugal. Uh, yeah, Nuno was the one mentioning the 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 curse in the deck. Oh, okay. The, uh, I think the comment for the curse in the deck, I believe, and the retaliate damage. I think. Thank you, Nuno, Thank for leaving you. comments on the last episode, helping us catch that stuff. Thank and you so much. First time live. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, not so yet, he but I really like to see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, okay. Same. I don't remember what happened last week. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we're going full Dunwich today. Yeah, since, yeah. Since, since Bob's, Bob's given, done. Bob, he caught Bob's giving up on enforcing yeah. how, I guess, Dunwich in the UK is pronounced, or Dunwich Village. Um, but supposedly this all takes place in the, the North American US done witch uh and that's how they say it i guess but we'll just keep saying done witch I, I think that was fun flipping back and forth but it obviously annoys brian w too so we'll keep yeah that up. we can keep we can keep we it can, up. we can keep annoying him though yeah but bob's quit so he caught bob's moved on he's like, <laughs> he's I, like i'm over he's been beaten down he's like you know no longer a rookie who cares about the rules he's just like <laughs> so whatever man this is the lost cause <laughs> yep it is it is <laughs> it's a lost cause it's a lost cause <laughs> Not be converted. Oh, well, remember we tried to do a straw poll to find out the, the way it should be said. Oh yeah, yeah. And then it oh. didn't work because straw poll is a bunch of junk to the, to me, I guess. <laughs> now we have the now new, we have a different new option. poll. New poll. <laughs> Great. So while we're while we're killing some time for others to show up, uh, we can do that if I can find where that thing is. If the bot's even working today, it wasn't. Um, how should or what is the correct 
Cynthia says, played Miskatonic Museum yesterday at the rate of one a week. Nice. Okay. That's what we do. One a week. Um, you can savor it that way. Bitch. Itch, okay. Or Brian says, forget what I said about likes. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, and my bouncer quit on me. Oh no. Yeah, and Bob's not playing this voting game, he says. <laughs> Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> he knows the results are not gonna be in his favor. Whoops. Breakfast. Uh, right. So, uh, up by there. Mm -hmm. Itch. Here we go. That's how. Oh, yeah. hmm? oh, Good work. Oh, no, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Orbis says, I won't be able to watch this one as I have it coming in the mail next week. Going to leave soon oh, to wow. drive to BJ, BG Bliss. Okay. Oh, they nice. have Marvel Champions on sale for my son's birthday. Oh, I will yeah, yeah. stop. Just in case the TV is loud. Gotcha. That's cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Enjoy. You can't go in there yet, right, Orbit? It's, it's still just local pickup, I think. Oh. I feel like they never opened their store for browsing like 401 was doing. Uh, but now 401's like, ah, oh. whatever. We're just going to, like, no in-store browsing, only pick up. And I remember they were like, like, even when things opened up, they were just like, nope, curbside only. Mm -hmm. uh, this is playing once a week protects my sanity I get properly stressed yeah I will pick up only okay <laughs> Robert Carlisle says still wish you would look at folklore the affliction awesome game we did, we did look yeah, at we it did. yeah we talked about this yesterday did we not yeah we did yeah we talked, we about, talked this about it before yeah. Uh, if we can get a copy at a reasonable price, I, I think we would. But again, it's like just lower on the priority. Yeah. Uh, it looks okay, but yeah. Like it looks really cool. Like we would love it and have fun with it. Just the combat didn't seem interesting. So it was just like, okay, that's fine. Um, but I, I just remember looking at our local game stores and it wasn't like in stock or anything. And it, we'd have to buy it from the US, which adds like extra import fees, customs fees, all that stuff. Shipping's worse. Um. What is going on? Oh. Oh, that's annoying. Well, we're just going to go like this. <laughs> Loco says, I just started playing The Haunting of Dale. I won't spoil when it comes to your table, but it's amazing. Okay, that is. Oh, the next, uh, the next Lord of the Rings: Journeys in Middle Earth scenario. Yeah, the Haunting of Dale. Oh, yes, yes, yes. oh, okay, okay, okay. So in that case, we're just waiting for yeah. Kyle. But I, now it, that we're going back into lockdown on Monday, I know uh, I, tomorrow. I, I think that might not be played until like summer, mm. like uh, if vaccines get in our arms or whatever. That's yeah. But again, I, like the next scenario for that game. I don't know. Like, is that coming out around summer? Is that going to come out later in the year? Do we have, like, do we care? Do we have time? I don't know. I just want to build up a queue of, like, so many of those were, like, so far behind, mm -hmm. but. But we do have time. You're right. Yeah. They but took forever right. to come out with the sec the first expansion. So, like, the Shadow Paths or whatever. So, I'm in no rush really with that game, but. No, it's not Canada, not Canada. Robert. It's just, like, uh, like uh, Southern Ontario, uh, like, around us is. Yeah, yeah they, they're like doing like a sliding scale where they like, you know, they, they there's all these different levels. 
Um, so they decided since the numbers are creeping up again, that whole those variant strains or whatever, the more contagious ones are kind of rising numbers. So they're they're just going back into like full lockdown around us. I don't know how long that's going to last for. They, it, it, think, we've been in it and I think they, it's come out of it a few times. They so. last at least 28 days, I think, when, oh, they, when okay. they put they you in it. And then they re- yeah, they reevaluate it. Yeah. Um, but I think it's more by region and city in that. So our city is going in lockdown. Yeah. Again, and yes, Easter's coming too, so maybe oh, that's yeah, another thing true. that they're trying to do yep. on purpose. Yeah, they did that to us around the holidays too, mm-hmm. just in anticipation mm-hmm. of people getting together and not like, you know, following guidelines. Yeah, I never really thought of that, because that's next week. Yeah, like we, w- we want to play like um, Man- or, uh, Lord of the Rings and Manch the Madness. Like Mel and I will pl- still probably play Manch the Madness, mm-hmm. but the Lord of the Rings, like Kyle really enjoys that game, and we like playing it with them. It was fun playing three-player in that game, so... We're just kind of saving it till, you know, he can start visiting us weekly again and then know when it's safe to do so. Yeah. Uh, Nerdy guy, no, we've not played the Hogwarts Battle Co-op Card Builder. Uh, I remember that coming out of Gen Con. We looked at it, but it, it, it looked very, like, you know, like, easy. And we weren't really Harry Potter fans at the time. Yeah. Like, not easy. Uh, like, the complexity level's really low. And, like, we were looking for more meaty campaign big games. But uh, it still looks fun. We just never played it. Yeah, and we hadn't watched the movies at the time. Yeah. So we were kind of like, okay, yeah. we're not really into the theme of it either. Yeah. There's so. so many deck builders. It's like, you know, yeah. it, there's we had so many already. Um, so it was just like getting another deck builder. Like, do we really need that right now? Like, yeah. we didn't. If it, I, I'm a sucker for themes, though. So if it had, like, a different IP on it, mm-hmm. I would maybe get it. But Yeah. Also, I feel like you haven't been around for a while. Welcome back. Yes. Welcome. Uh, there we go. We're connected. We're oh. Okay. Uh, Cynthia says, we're just starting to lose some restrictions a tiny bit. End of next week. Six people can meet outside at that point. Okay. You're playing board games outside now? <laughs> so what happens? <laughs> like, all right, we got a full player game of whatever. Let's Depends on your that. weather, I guess. Bob says, are you not a little old for Harry Potter games? Never. No, no. no we played um, Funko, the Harry Potter Funko yes. one. We played Harry that. Po- yep. That was fun. And that was after, after we watched the movie. Yeah, so after... we, we understood what, who was what and yeah. what characters were, you know, wh- that, why they were against each other and stuff. That's a fun one if you want Rob to pronounce uh, spells that we don't know how to say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get down to the table and let's get this. Oh, no. Let's actually look at our decks. Let's look at our decks. That's what I need to be doing. Yeah, I, th- I think we've, we've, uh, yeah, yeah, we've, uh, just working on difficulties in here in the background. Oh, our poll is done anyways, too. Oh, it's still going. Never mind. No, it's just reminding them it's still happening. There's two minutes left on it. Okay. I thought that was going to tell us on how we should pronounce Dunwich or how the critics, critic pronunciation did on which you can vote in the chat, either ex- uh, exclamation point, which or exclamation point itch. I do see also Bob, who said he was not going to vote, did decide last <laughs> minute to throw a vote in there. And I did see that, Bob. All right. He just had to. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's uh, switch here. All right, so here's our decks throughout <laughs> our campaign. Uh, so let's look at Jenny Barnes. It's our latest one. The links for these are down in the video description. Again, how this has been working as we play through. After the stream is done, the comment section opens down below. Uh, the deck lists are in the video description. You can open these deck lists, you can clone them to your collection, you can just look through them if you know the card pool really well. Whatever you want to do, you can comment down below, one per investigator, uh, or just a separate per investigator, you can make as many comments as you want with suggestions on how to spend our experience or save our experience going forward. Uh, and we've just been updating it as people have been voting. So today's vote led to Jenny Barnes um, taking out a contraband. There's that powder of Ibn, Ibn Ghazi I've taken out of the deck. Uh, but she took another sure gamble, uh, was the one with the most votes. Mm-hmm. And I think it was Yogi. It was. Selected that one, yeah. uh, or, or re- recommended that one, got the most likes, yep. uh, and taken out a contraband. Okay. Yeah. So that's the changes to Mel's deck there. I believe that's everything. We didn't forget to remove anything. I no. hope. So we go back, uh, as we check Zoe's, uh, so Zoe's deck, I now added the curse of the Ruguru as a weakness. I added First Aid, Liquid Courage, and a Brother Xavier. This was Kate's suggestion. Thank you, Kate. Um, but this one got the most votes for Zoe. And removing a Hyper Awareness and Bandolier. So, First Aid, 
Uh, I already have one in the deck. I just don't know when I if I see it, if I'm throwing it away, if I if I'm using it or what. Um, but it's three supplies. First aid has no supplies. Discard it. Spend one supply to heal a damage or a horror from an investigator at your location. So I could use it on Mal. I can use it on myself. But obviously, most likely it's going to be used for horror on Zoe. To remove. Uh, Liquid Courage, which is a card in Mel's deck, so I took the other one out of our collection and put it in um, Zoe's deck. Yeah. So it's four supplies, cost one. Uh, I like the way these have willpower on them as their skill icon, which is great. Yeah. So if I just that... have it in my hand and I need it for a test, yeah, could prevent the horror in the first place rather than trying to heal it later. There was another option that had two guts that Yogi had. I, I like that one too, just to get more of the willpower icons in the deck. Yogi also says, I deleted a bunch of my Zoe comments in an attempt to win. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Just, we just looked this morning. I didn't, I didn't watch them throughout the week. Like, uh, Yeah, we just check in the morning on Sunday. Yeah, we just wake up Sunday morning. We're like, okay, let's go in the comments, see what's up. You know, we vote for, you know, a couple. We're like, hmm, I like this one. We start reading the cards that we don't know. We're trying to figure it yep. out. We're like, hmm, why did they recommend this? Let's go look up the cards in ArkhamDB and see what they're, let's see what they're about. Uh, so Liquid Courage, spend one supply, choose an investigator at your location, heal a horror. Then that investigator tests willpower of two. Which I have four willpower built in. If I see Dark Horse and, you know, we have no mm -hmm. no money or whatever where I can spend it away to make more. Uh, or make my test bump up. Um, if it succeeds, you heal one additional horror. If the test fails, he or she discards one card at random from his or her hand. I also have one of these in my deck. So hopefully yeah. one of us can see yeah, it. Which and, I yeah. said already, but yeah. you don't listen to me, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, Brother Xavier, uh, he's a guardian, asset, ally, costs five to put in play, this guy. Mm. And remember, I do have a charisma, so I can I have an additional ally slot, so I can put two allies into play, uh, which he's ally traded. You get plus one willpower, straight up, plus one willpower, that's amazing, I'd be at five. I, I, like, I already love this guy. Uh, Brother Xavier may be assigned damage and or horror dealt to other investigators at your location, so not just me, other investigators. Oh, cool. And then as a reaction when he's defeated, so either defeated through damage or through uh, losing all his, his sanity, uh, he'll deal two damage to an enemy at my location. So Jenny can feed booze to Zoe. Yes, yes. <laughs> but you never really got the Liquid Courage no. going. I've never got my first aids going ever. So you had these like answers in there, but they're just one ofs, right? Yeah. So like when you... You might see them early, you might mulligan them away, you might never draw into them. Like, it just happens. But or you see them and, you're, and you don't need it at the time, so you use yeah, it for the exactly. icon. Yep. You see it early and you're just like, oh, yeah, I'll yeah. throw this away, whatever. Yeah. We're I full, we're full not... health right now. Yeah. But now I have a few other options. So hopefully I draw into something, you know, late-ish game or see Brother Xavier early or get Beat Cop Bob into play. Somebody that can take some horror. Like, you know, just yeah. somewhere I can assign it. I need some... Ally Soak, which Brother Xavier just adds to the ally pool to help get that more often, we hope. So those deck lists, like I said, are updated in the video description. So if you're watching this after the stream is done, go down below, like your favorite comment, spending the XP, uh, or if you don't see one you like, uh, make one of your own or make multiple of your own, suggesting how Jenny should upgrade her deck or how uh, Zoe should upgrade their deck or save their experience, whatever you want, uh, for the next episode. So yeah, get involved. Thank you, everyone, who's suggesting. And liking, if yes, you, if you like other yeah. people's comments, is awesome, yep. too. Yep, yep, agreed. All right. All right, so uh, here we go. Curse of the Ruguru. We got Brother Xavier, Liquid Courage, First Aid. Uh, I'll just start And I'm putting them. my other sure gamble in there. Yep, and we remove our other cards already. Yep. Shuffle the deck up. So with this scenario, uh, where Doom awaits, I haven't looked at anything yet. I just kind of set up the act agenda in this reference card here. I got all the enemy sets together. This other enemy set was listed later in there. I don't know if it needs to go in or it doesn't. I just grabbed it because I just looked for symbols quickly on the page. I'll set up so we have everything. Uh, if we need to grab anything, we will. Just got all the locations there. Uh, but we'll go through setup. We'll read some story. We'll figure it out. But first, we'll try to set up it. In yeah, order, yeah, order yeah. again. Yeah. Which we'll never remember, but we'll just do it however. I know it could change later. I know it will matter based on some scenarios. We'll just adjust and whatever. Figure it out. Okay. Here's investigators done. Take trauma and horror. Oh, yes. So uh, I... You have to take one and one. Yeah. Okay. Great. Great. Uh... So question. I have a question. I don't know really the answer to this. Just thought of it now. Can I remove these? Like, I gain these at the start of a scenario. Can I heal them right away? 
or they kind of they stay there and they're just oh. symbolizing I only have eight health and five sanity. I'm pretty sure this is the way you show it, but do those are those tokens those just normal? Though? Like I can just remove them? Never thought about it, but it's probably something I should think of now that I have cards that remove it more often. Yeah, you can heal them. Oh, oh awesome. okay, okay, That's okay. Awesome. Okay. Velka wants to know what did the poll results? Oh yeah. Show. Let's complete it and find out. Let's go to rules pop. Oh yeah, they oh, did yeah. make a uh, rules yeah. pop for this. I yeah, think yeah, I put yeah. that in the video description. Um, but our poll says done which was the most voted option of the poll, but only with 55.56% oh. of the votes. It was very close. So done which it is. It, you know, based on our viewership, slightly more than half. We have quite the divided audience, obviously. <laughs> Another thing that they can fight over. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, you can heal horror and damage, but you but you don't heal trauma. So next time you start with them again. Oh, oh okay. yes, yes, yes. Oops. That I understand. I understand the start of every scenario we start with it. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's Bob. A, yeah. <laughs> Bob says, I refer to my earlier statement. Let me say that this vote is rigged from the start, and I do not accept the outcome unless it goes my way, of course. Then it is the fairest vote ever held. <laughs> Excellent. It did not Excellent. go your way, Bob. Yeah, majority is it can heal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot to open the rules pop. So they, they do an unofficial rules pop for this, which we talked about the rules pop for uh, Sleeping Gods. Um, I think I have it in the video description. All right, we're going to just cut this. Hopefully I put it in there. Yes, I did. So what I'm about to show you is linked in the video description. I'm going to get the link for it. But there is uh, this, this, this guy who's putting together these rule pops website. There's an official one for Sleeping Gods. They're like a, as it says there, a cheat sheet on steroids. Uh, but I guess as a proof of concept, they originally started the idea with Arkham Horror the Card Game. So this is unofficial, but this is like a collection of all the rules and things, I guess, from the rules reference guide. So it says the site is an unofficial rules reference for Arkham Horror the Card Game published by Fantasy Play Games. Yada yada. Uh, it's a cheat sheet on steroids. The site is great for finding a specific rule quickly and is intended to supplement the rule book, not replace it. So you can bring this up on a tablet, a phone, you know, a computer, whatever, have it nearby when you're playing. Best way to learn the game is says still use the learn to play guide, of course. Watch how to play a video or have someone teach you. Uh, and then it just talks about hitting the back button to go to a different page. So it's just this, uh, you know, so it's like, hmm, uh, let's see. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Let's look up player rata. Let's look up FAQ. Boom. Here's all the FAQ entries. Just like we were doing in our Sleeping Gods playthrough, this mm. exists for Arkham Horror. So good. Yep. You just go boom. Uh, if play with the fight ability, yada, yada. And, and I love the way things are linked. So what were we just talking about? And this is all alphabetical for these things. We were just talking about trauma, right? Yeah. So if I look, can I find one about trauma? Just out of curiosity. Maybe it's in damage. Dealing damage and horror. Maybe it's here. Oh, damage inflicts investigator's health. This links to some other article. Asset cards. Applying damage and horror when you're defeated. Uh, build or driven insane. Here we go. Investigator physical trauma equal to his or her health. Well, I guess that's not really talking about the healing it. That's yeah. I'm trying to see if we can find that answer. How quickly? But I just clicked trauma, and it led me to campaign. Which oh, here we go. Trauma reflects permanent damage that's been done. Anyways, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it talks about it's just regular damage. It makes sense. Yeah, the yeah, token's yeah. the same and stuff. I just yeah, it makes sense. It comes back though. But anyways, if you're curious, this exists. I've linked this down in the video description. 
Feel free to use it when you play, test it out. Uh, there's a feedback link at the bottom of the page. So if there's something not linked or something incorrect or something you'd like to show here, you know, uh, feel free to give them feedback uh, and they, they can update it, make it better. So, and hopefully other companies and things start getting official ones of these made. And uh, yeah, we just have this for all the games. That would be great. Yeah. All, all the all the medium and, and heavyweight games would be great. I mean, this is also great for streaming too because everything is available on PDF, quick and, and easy. Yeah, not PDF. It's, it's a, well, it's I mean, a website. On, yeah. on it's like a web app. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. But yeah, I'll keep it open and, and we'll try to use it if we can. Yeah. And we'll see. For it. when we forget a loop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll just, uh, let me just open a loop ahead of time. Yeah, yeah. We'll just keep a loop here open and ready. And every, then... every week. Okay, so, so it's really just a way to look up a loop. Is, yeah, is that whole thing was just for me to be able to look up a loop. Exactly. Okay, choose uh, <laughs> who's lead investigator. Uh, your odds, I'm even. Yep. Even. All right, Zoe is the lead investigator. Okay, assemble and shuffle the investigator decks. Done. Assemble the. Token pool's done. Chaos bag is done. Collect starting resources. Five and three. We're done. Uh, draw our opening hands. Oh. What? Oh, Brother Xavier right off the bat. And I only start with three resources because I am indebted. So I'll start with two fewer resources. I do have a keen eye in play already. So I drew a Brother Xavier. That new card we just added. That's good. So getting him into play, I mean, gets me one willpower right off the bat, and that's great when I'm drawing treachery cards. I start with five willpower. You can get him in play first turn, too. To yeah, just like a setup. As a setup, is, yeah. Is that too slow? I don't know. Oh, even faster, actually. Oh, yeah. I have emergency cash. Oh. We could go that route. Uh, first aid. See, this is the thing. Like, first aid taken right now. It's like, oh, okay, no. I'll put that back, I think. And then machete. That seems, like, good to keep. And a flashlight. That seems like a pretty good, like, a flashlight I could keep, but I still want to see Dark Horse. Fire Axe would be nice, but, I mean, I have Machete, so uh, I'm thinking of just to dig for other stuff. I kind of, this is nice. Maybe throwing these away, but again, I don't know. Flashlight might be amazing right here, but again, it's like, I, I only have so much money to play stuff, so this is kind of like, eh. Keep Xavier in emergency cash, ditch everything else for Dark Horse. Not a weapon. Even the machete. Wow. Not a weapon. I would think a weapon. Yeah, especially I'd, be, I'd because, be worried. Yeah, I don't draw into a weapon. And especially because your weakness, you want to be dealing damage if possible. Like you want to be taking the enemies. What? Don't you have that weakness? Oh, it's shuffled in. Yeah, I might not. Oh, get, I might not be the start. curse of okay, okay. every play. Right. You're Let's right. See. You're right. I might draw it next. Who even knows? That's true. Draw two on cash. One. Draw one on cash. Just, no. Just one. Just one. I think there's a more upgraded version of this, maybe, that draws more. Or did I take the wrong one? This is only 2 XP. I, I think I took the right one, right? Gain 3 resources, draw 1 card. Is that right? Yeah. I feel like that's right. Oh, well, there's the regular one. I don't think we have another one of that, do we? Yeah. No, not in, not sure. in what we have available to us, I don't think. Keep machete Sorry, if right. we don't okay. live dangerously. I think you keep the machete too, just yeah, in case. Yeah, just in case. If I get into play. Uh, okay, so I'll pitch these. I'll draw two more. Emergency cash. Oh, there you go. All right, we get the money flood to start here. That's kind of good. Yeah, kind of good. It's really good. Vicious blow. Vicious blow. All right, so we just need enemies. All right. Not too quick, but we do need them. Okay, so I am looking for Leo, and I'm looking for the Necro Necronomicon. <laughs> okay, we got the medallion. Okay, we could we could go this route, having this early. We'll see. Pickpocketing. Okay, we got a Leo. First turn, <laughs> he is staying. Oh, this is so good too. Magnifying glass. I love this card. Uh, to just be able to get clues. So yeah. those two are staying for sure. Doesn't cost an action either. No sneak attack. Mm. I'm kind of thinking, okay. I'm kind of thinking of actually putting all these three. <laughs> like Leo, I'm all getting Luca, come on. Is it Leo? Is it Luca? Uh, yeah. Is it Da Luca? Who knows? 
<laughs> what, what, what name it's are you going by today? It's different every time. I know. Leo for the win. Exactly. Okay. So looking at this case, I don't think I'm going to keep the medallion right now because this right here is going to use up all my resources. I would love to get the necro Necronomicon into play. So I'm looking for that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to I'm going to keep these two and I'm going to mulligan this. Looking for, I don't know what exactly, actually. Yeah, I don't need that one. After you evade an enemy, exhaust pickpocketing a draw card. I mean, that's not terrible. I've never been able to get that in play. Oops, I just, um, I just put that in my deck. Sorry, I got to shuffle. What happened? I put that in my deck, the card that I was mulliganing. Oh, I'll just shuffle it up though, sorry. Um. <laughs> I wonder so you mean if the Necro Comic Con. <laughs> yeah, I could call it that, but I don't know if everyone will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, sorry, I shuffled or I put that in my deck by accident. So, pickpocketing, interesting. No, I'm gonna mulligan all these three. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Oh, Matt's sorry. here. Hey, Matt. Flashlight, cat burglar, and a gun. Okay, this is a very expensive hand, but let's see what we can do with this. Oh, the, uh, yeah, there's another emergency cash later. I knew it. I knew I've yeah, seen it. Yeah, but I don't think, yeah, I don't yeah. think it was part of what uh, we had available yeah. to us in, yeah. in this. We just have like level yeah. zero and level two, I think. Yeah, I remember Thank looking you. at it. Yeah. Ryan's likes my start. This is a really solid start. Oh, Matt says, happy Passover to all who celebrate. Yes. Happy oh, happy Passover. Passover. To celebrate Passover. Okay. Uh, what's next on, on oh, the agenda? Uh, read the scenario instructions in the, camp guide, in the campaign guide. Uh, no. Uh, Dustin said, did you guys watch the Color Out of Space movie I recommended? Oh, no, not yet. No. no. Um, but... We got to note that. Yeah. Because I don't remember. One second. I'm going to put that on a list, actually. Is that a newer movie? or? At least, I think movie? it was on Netflix, he said. Yeah, but it might it not Netflix. be on Netflix Canada. So, so we'll we have, have to, to like look for it. We'll see. Uh, all right. So, so Color Out of Space. Of Space. Movie. Okay. Add it to my tasks. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel I, like, funny guy. I like I like where your mind's going, but I don't know. I, I'm supposed to be like laughing that day, and that might make me cry. That would be like a punishment, but mm -hmm. it would be funny. It would be. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Dustin, Dustin's you're, Canadian. Okay. Okay. I sorry, can we never cannot remember, remember everyone. Everybody. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I can't remember who the coolest people are in the chat all the time. I'm sorry, Dustin. Some, some we do remember if they've told us specific. I don't know if yeah. they've told us specifically where. I'll just forget, but I'm yeah. I'm so sorry. My bad. <laughs> okay, good. Excellent. All right, Netflix. Yeah, because sometimes people recommend us. Like, we could have watched go watch that this last on night. Netflix. I know, we could have. <laughs> we can watch it tonight, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're not really in the middle of anything right now. Yeah, now that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put up a poll, though, for what we're going to play next Saturday, I think. Oh yeah, do you have yeah. some ideas? Yeah, I do, but okay. we'll, we'll we'll yeah. So YouTube members, stay tuned. Uh, you'll see a poll pop up on YouTube that you'll only be able to see and vote on, and then of course our patrons who know uh, if you're a supporter or a producer, you'll see a poll pop up uh, today or tomorrow, and uh, it will have a few games in it. You can choose which game Mel and I you know crack out, learn for the first time, relearn whatever, uh, and we'll play next Saturday. Since Sleeping Gods ended yesterday or er, one week earlier than we expected, at yeah. Least. Um. So yeah, now now next Saturday is open. I cancel that stream. So we're, we'll play something that's probably one off. That's not starting a new campaign yet. We'll take kind of like a little break and fill our Saturdays with, uh, you know, for the next couple of weeks, just like, uh, you know, kind of one off things. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm reading story now, right? Yes, yes. All right.
Okay, uh, you wake into the sound of screeching, fearing the worst. You grab your equipment and head out into the streets of Dunwich. As soon as you step outside, you sense a foulness in the cold night air, an awful pungent smell that can scarcely be described as, uh, and a heaviness, heavy, heaviness, sorry, heaviness to the atmosphere that makes it difficult to breathe. The citizens of Dunwich have sealed their doors, and the town feels quite quiet and lonesome. In the distance, a faint glow emanates from a hilltop above the village. You know this is the hill from both your interactions with Zebulon and Armitage's records. It is called Sentinel Hill, which we played a, a, a scenario called that in Mage of Madness, I believe. Something about Sentinel Hill. Maybe. Yes. I feel like there's like a cemetery or something. Maybe not. Maybe I mixed that up. But anyways. Uh, the tales speak of satanic rites being performed there. Rites in which great ritual pyres light up the night sky while the ground rumbles furiously below. Flocks of whippoorwills. Oh, but I don't back. think, I don't, no, I don't think those are in the deck. Oh, okay. I don't think those are in the deck. Okay. I thought that was a sign. Yeah, when I was setting up the enemies, I was like, please, no, please, no, please. Yes, okay, we're not putting them in right now. But who knows? But it that might... doesn't mean anything. I guess there could be worse enemies yes. that we just aren't, aren't aware of yet. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't read this page. I just went to the next page and read setup uh, or just look for symbols for setup. So we'll see. <laughs> Uh, it says, flocks of whippoorwills perch on the rooftops of the village around you, watching ominously as you climb inside Zebulon's old and beat-up truck. As you drive towards Sentinel Hill, more screeching fills the sky with an awful pitch that is painful to your ears. Everything you have read about and experienced in Dunwich has led to this. If the foul ritual Seth seeks to perform has anything to do with what Armitage and his colleagues prevented several months back, it involves the favor of an ancient creature, Yog Solthoth. Is he back? Oh my god. Uh, failing to stop this ritual may spell doom. Not only Dunwich, but for the entire world. Oh no. Check campaign log. If Naomi has investigators back, proceed to part one. Naomi? I don't even remember Naomi. I don't know who Naomi is. Does Naomi have her back? N no, I don't know who Naomi well, even Naomi's is. Naomi's a jerk then. Uh, so we skip part one. And proceed to set up. Oh, okay. So, uh, I don't know. Okay. And hopefully we didn't mess that up like we did I don't, before. Yeah. Well, <laughs> not not I don't marking know who Naomi is. gang. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, something funny is happening and it's so true. Um, I know, just looking now. Bob is saying, is it not strange that the chat know each other better than Rob and Mel know the chat? And then Stella Tusak says, it's like when you introduce two of your friends and they start hanging out without you. But that's amazing. Like, I we no want issue. you guys to chat amongst yourselves and have conversations and get to know each other. And it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. We love that. Yeah. My friend group, my gaming group, all of that, partly because of getting old, partly because of people having families, partly because of COVID, uh, all of it shrunk. Everything's shrunken down. I, I have only a few friends left, only a few family I talk to, only a few gaming group people I still talk to. Like, it's just, it's just shrunk. So the fact that now we have this whole community of producers chatting in the Discord, talking in chat while we're playing, uh, that's amazing. It's amazing. It's a little overwhelming, to be honest. Uh, I can't keep everyone straight. Hard for me sometimes to put names without faces. I'm very bad with that. I'm very good at, like, uh, it, I see your names here, but once I, like, meet you guys at a convention uh, or, you know, somewhere, and then I can put a face to the name, it's so totally different. I need, like, a face sometimes. Oh, so I see what you're saying. So as people enter the Discord, you're saying they need a selfie. So I can... <laughs> I, meant, I meant, like, real in person. <laughs> it's like, you must introduce yourself with like a picture. Just them. kidding. What you I'm don't have to is, do that. What I'm saying is basically talking in person. So yeah. a lot of people, like, the people that I've met at conventions, I remember them. And when I see them pop in chat, even if I haven't seen them for years, I remember that person. I remember talking to them at a convention. I remember playing with them in a tournament game or whatever. And usually people walk up and say... Hey, Rob, love your videos, you know, what's up? And, you know, we chat, where are you from? You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. I tend to remember those moments more um, than just ch in the chat reading text. For sure. But I think that might be just my age showing. I, I don't know. It's just a thing. New Discord channel <laughs> selfie. Oh, God. <laughs> some, some people have posted Mug pictures. Mugshots? Mugshots? <laughs> yeah, some people have posted pictures of themselves or there's pictures oh, on, yeah, the, yeah. Um, yeah. on their uh icons so yeah. that's easier yeah yeah, are, yeah the ones where yeah. i see pictures uh like uh mike shade for example post pictures before so i you know now i know i see mike in person i'll know yeah i know You'll mike. Be able to, yeah yeah recognize. i recognize mike yeah because i've seen his pictures you know yeah 
And it's like, oh, that's who Mike is. Okay. But obviously, if I met Mike in person and we chatted for a bit, it, it solidifies that even more. I don't know if it's just a bad memory I have or I'm just wired that way, but it's hard for me to put names to like details all the time mm -hmm. to remember them just based on like a, a username. Yeah. I, I, can, I, can, I can remember a lot of what people say. The hardest part for me is that some people have different usernames in YouTube comments and chat versus in the discord that's the hardest mm -hmm. part for me is trying to link yeah. those people together yeah yeah i try yeah. as best i can the problem but... for me too is youtube username it, that is in the chat is sometimes different than the patreon name that's entered yeah, yeah which is then different than the discord name or nickname that's used yeah so sometimes i'm like am i messaging so and so here but i've already talked to them in the discord or <laughs> have i already answered this in the chat no idea no idea but it's all good. <laughs> yeah, but we're doing our best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> but you guys talk amongst yourselves. It's a good problem to have. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Good, good problem to have. Yeah. But we do appreciate it. Yeah. We do appreciate all the support. Okay, so I think we haven't run into this, Naomi, based on what I'm seeing in the chat okay. as well. All right. We're going on, Naomi. Perfect. Okay, so it says, gather all the cards from the following counter sets. Where Doom awaits, Beast okay. Thrall, Sorcery, Bishop Thrall, Striking Fear, Ancient Evils, Chilling Cold. These sets are indicated by the following icons. Boom, we have all the icons listed there. So the first one's this set, all the other ones we've seen before. Uh, but the base of the hill, so let's go here. Uh, base of the hill. Base of the hill. Yeah, see this art is very familiar. I feel like... Yeah, maybe we did. I yeah, we remember. definitely played this Sentinel Hill stuff, Mage of Madness. I know it. I just don't remember anything that happened. It might be different here. It's just a place, so it could be a totally different story of different people, but... I just remember that name. Uh, put the base of the hill, ascending path. Let's put this here for now. Base of the hill, ascending path, and sentinel peak. Ascending path, sentinel peak. Oh, base, oh man, lots of connections here. Okay. Uh, so base of the hill. Each of us here begins play at base of the hill. So I'm assuming that's like more central. Is usually how it starts it out. So this connects to here. This connects... Sorry. Somewhere else. This connects. So these both oh, connect. Oh, wait, to hold me. on. Yeah, kind of like this, right? Probably. Do they connect back? Hold on. This doesn't go here. Okay. So it's like a line, I think, right now. Okay. Right? And they go back to each other. Can we just right? check before yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so base of the hill we start at. Okay. It's a blue triangle or gray triangle. It can go to red square. It can't go to Sentinel Park, but from. The red square, green, diamond can go to the center. So it's kind of a straight line. Yeah, and this one. This goes back to this. This goes back to this. Okay, so but this do like does this. not connect to that. I feel like it's just a straight line yeah. right now. Pretty simple. Yeah. But there is altered path, altered path, altered path, altered path. Verging path, diverging path, diverging path, diverging path. So we'll see how those work in. Assuming we take one of them or something. Uh, remove one copy of diverging path from the game at random. Okay. It, choose one mel, we'll remove it. Done. Put that over here. Uh, okay, out of play. Remove one copy of Altered Path. Hopefully these aren't ones with victory points on them you're removing. I know, I know. If, oh if my you don't God. mind, please don't do that. Uh, I hope not. Set, set, set. Finch up a side out of play, which I think I'm probably shuffled him in because he was just part of one of those investigator sets. Seth Bishop. Oh, yeah, right here, Seth Bishop. He's a unique enemy of some kind. I'm just, oh, he's got a victory point. That's, I like seeing that. So he's out of play. I'll just put him on the side here. Okay. Oh, these go out of play. These go out of play. Yeah, so these are out of play. Alter Path, Diverging Path, the other three are just out of play. I'll just put them off to the side. Uh, based on your difficulty level, Add the following chaos tokens. So we're playing on standard. If you could put a minus five in there, Whoa. that's fun. I don't like that idea. Not. Minus five is now in the bag. So Manny's having his first child uh, in a couple months and naming it Angus. Awesome. Congratulations. So they're, they're thinking it's Angus Young from ACDC, but it's no. <laughs> Congratulations. That's Congratulations. awesome. Yes, yes. That's awesome. 
That's cool. <laughs> you guys are funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Nuno, we appreciate it. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys know this scenario very well. But when we're, if you know this scenario very well and we're asking for suggestions, if it's a vote thing, yeah, vote. Go ahead and vote. You know, because you might vote, you know, you can vote to do the bad option, the good option, whatever, because other people are voting, hopefully, who don't know the right choice. Um, but we're going to play it. Remember, we're playing blind. We don't know. So we might make silly, silly mistakes. Uh, but yeah, feel free to get involved. But don't don't tell us like straight up, like, don't go that way, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate everyone who, who knows how it goes. And there's, I've been teething this one I need to be more awake for or like, you need to take it serious or it's going to be challenging, whatever. Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay. Yep. All right. Uh, now it's saying, depending on the following circumstances. Uh oh. Oh. Hello. Uh, depending on the following circumstances, a different version of Act 2 should be used in the scenario. Each other version of Act 2 is removed from the game. So check the campaign log. Okay. So we have Act 2, uh, 1, Act 2, Act 2, Act 2, and Act 3. Okay, so um, check the campaign log. If the investigators restored Silas Bishop, use Act 2 Ascending Hill. Did we restore Silas Bishop? We did. We did. We restored Silas Bishop. Act 2, okay, version 1. Uh, if the above is not true, check the campaign log. If the investigators failed to recover the Necronomicon, or if the Necronomicon was stolen, which we know it wasn't, we have I it. I have it, yeah. And then if neither of the above are true, you back to Ascending Hill version 3. Okay. Okay, so we're... we're... So these ones I will okay. set us out of play. So version 1, for sure, right? Yep. Yeah, I have it right here. Okay. Restored Sil uh, yep. Silas Bishop. Version 1. Hopefully that's the good First one. I was like, that doesn't sound familiar, but it's clearly written. Yeah, I, know. I don't remember any of these. That was weeks and weeks ago. That yeah. could be months ago. Okay. All right. Check the command log. Okay. For each brood of Yog sothoth that escaped into the wild, add one doom to Agenda 1A. That escaped? Yep. One brood escaped oh. into the wild. Thank you. So we're adding one doom. All right. Check the campaign log. If the investigators put Silas Bishop out of his misery, I, the no. investigators put Silas Bishop out of his misery. Restore? Mm, no. I do not see that anywhere. Let me just double check. Yeah, yeah. Like the we restore. restored Silas Bishop. Yeah, so I feel like alt it's, alternate. yeah. Um, Remnants of the creature's body have mutated and grown at Sentinel Hill. Put one conglomerate of spears enemy from the hideous abomination encounter set into play at ascending path. Shuffle the rest of the set into the encounter deck. This set is indicated with falling icons. I grabbed that one, but I guess we don't need it. That's good. Shuffle the remainder of the encounter cards, building encounter deck. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. I have it here. Yeah, I brought this set down just in case because I, I saw it had that symbol on the setup, but we don't need it. Okay, that's great. Oh, it's Silas. 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 Tomato, tomato, man. <laughs> Lay off. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> when have I heard that name pronounced? Si Silas? There's a Silas in uh, Trailer Park Boys, isn't there? No, that's Cyrus. Cyrus. Jeez, oh, how sorry. dare you? How Oops. dare you? But yeah, if I haven't heard Silas ever said before, I'm just going to read it and say how I read it. But yeah, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of this. <laughs> Let me butcher my name. Let me butcher the names, okay? Silas. Silas is five past. Silas? 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 Silas, I think. Silas. Silas, Silas. Oh, Nuno's got the recap. Thank you. Previously on Rob's Gaming Table. At the end of Blood in the Altar, you use the Necronomicon to restore the boss monster, boss monster, Silas Bishop, to his human self. Okay. Thank you for the recap. Thank you. I do not remember. We don't remember all any of yeah. that. I didn't even remember meeting a Silas. Yeah. So we probably said that it wrong in familiar. that scenario as well. The name is familiar. <laughs> but I just don't remember. <laughs> too many things. Too many things. <laughs> Again, this is a game that like is a lifestyle game. We should just be playing this like every night of the week. We, we could play a whole campaign in one week. Yeah. 
Well, yeah. And then it would all just make sense. Not interrupt it with any other games, no other rules, mm -hmm. nothing else. Like just every night we're back streaming, we play the next scenario. Then it would be like a nice little story. It's like a it's like binging a TV show over a week. Yeah. That's the way I think. Or like on a Saturday, play two scenarios, Sunday play two, and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, and continue until we finish it. I don't know if that's a good way to stream it for people watching and keeping up. That's why we don't really do that that often. But for our enjoyment, I think, and keeping the story straight and knowing which <laughs> characters are there and remembering rules would probably be the best way to play the game. But, yeah, because how about playing two campaign in two different campaigns each week? I know, we got to stop doing that. Right? We like, have to stop We're trying to keep that. Sleeping God's story together and no, then this story I just together. Don't, I, just, I, just, I just don't care. I just yeah. shut them out. It's, it's, we're finished. We but, turn the camera off. Yeah. We're gone. But people watching watching the episodes back to back in a playlist in the future and be like, these idiots don't remember what they just did in the last scenario. They, they already don't get it. Like, what more morons? Yeah, because I don't think we clearly say we played this one week ago today. <laughs> yeah. But then again, the, the Silas Bishop stuff was definitely not in Ruguru. It no. was like before that or before that or before. Who knows when that was, right? That, that could have been three weeks ago, a month ago. We, we don't know. That's the problem. <laughs> All right. So we're good to go. I think so. What's next? Uh, read the scenario instructions, perform scenario setup, indicated, okay, set the agenda and the act. All right, let's, let's read the agenda. So we have calling forth the old ones. 12, Doom can go on this. Oh, we're going to start with one. It's a long one. As you approach Sentinel Hill, you hear ancient Latin rites be bellowed across the night. The time for action has come. If you cannot stop the sorcerers in Dunwich, who knows what terrors they might unleash upon the world. Yeah, we know. It's Yog so thoth Okay. And then if they unleash him, we have to bust into a game of Cthulhu Death May Die with Yog so thoth and have to play through it right after this if it happens. Okay. That's what has to happen. But if we stop it, then we don't have to play Cthulhu Death May Die. All right. <laughs> You're getting uh, heels hopes up here. <laughs> no, Act 1A, the path to the hill. A vibrant arcane energy fills the air with a bone-rattling chill. The energy, uh, I gotta stop holding this up. Uh, the energy swirls along the crest trail before you and seeps down several other paths before disappearing. Objective: When the investigators have collected the requisite number of clues, they must immediately spend them to advance. Oh! So as soon as we hit four, two per investigator, we have to advance this. No so let's let's yeah. try to remember that. Try to remember that. It's probably good to do that as fast as possible, but I mean, usually we try that. But maybe so. in this scenario, there's something where like. You don't want to grab that fourth one until a certain moment uh, or something. Who knows? I doubt it, but it's possible. Okay. And then, oh, this, yep, yep. And then, then we're ready to go. And then our token's coming out. We're playing on standard. So the little skull is minus one, minus three. Instead, if you're in a, at an altered location, uh, none, are, none altered are altered yet, altered but who side. knows what happens when we flip them. Or it's those other ones we put out of play, probably. Uh, a cultist head, reveal another token, cancel the effects and icons of each skill card committed to the test. Oh, oh I don't like that That's at all. really bad. Uh, minus two for the tablet, minus four. Instead, if this is Agenda 2, oh, so we it, start on Agenda 1, of course. Okay. So if we're on to Agenda 2, that gets worse. And then the one at the bottom, we have a couple of in there. Uh, minus X, discard the top two cards of your deck. X is the total printed cost of those discarded cards. All right. Whoa, that's terrible for your deck. Yeah, thankfully. You high cards. No, I know. So, uh, yeah, stop putting expensive cards in my deck, guys. Uh, this brother Xavier, good thing I drew it. You guys are trying to kill us here. Oh, my gosh. I'm That's a tough one. And we just put a minus five in. But think, if that wouldn't have been in there if we never cheated and there was something else we did that put two of those in there that I think There's two were, in there? Yeah, I think we did it twice in the story where those were avoidable, but based on choices we made, those went in there. Ooh. I think. I think there's a way you could play this probably, if I, my memory is correct, that you could have avoided that last token even being in the I bag at all. But I feel like there's two. I need to check because I thought there was only one, but they're probably, oh, there is Yeah, we've two. done it twice. Oh, and in my head, I was man. like, I'm trying to remember that. That's like a cool replayability thing. Yeah, so, so don't, like, don't don't cheat. Yeah, don't cheat. And there was one other one, and I forget what it was. I don't remember what the other one was I'm either. sure someone will, someone will remember in the chat who's played this who's played this campaign many, many oh, times will, will remember exactly what I'm, I'm talking about. But okay. I feel like both were avoidable, and we could have had zero in there. All right. Oh, cheating and the Necronomicon. Oh, the Necronomicon, yeah. Oh, that it it was our choice to take it, right? Yeah, yeah. And we could have said no, and, and then we wouldn't have put the, oh, okay. put the deck. That yes. was worth it. This is the thing. But we could have the avoided cheating, that. I don't know. Well, but... wait till you draw that on your turn. I know. And you're like, oh, man. I'll yeah. be like, well, remember that Necrocomicon you had? Yeah. You visited? The Necronomicon the ne necro necro -comic you, you went to? Oh, my God. That was so funny. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, so, so I think we're just good to go and we can decide. Oh, I guess we can flip this to see oh, yes. what's going on, right? So we're at the base of the hill. Dunwich, Sentinel Hill. The long slope of Sentinel Hill rises before you, cresting in the jagged edge of Sentinel Peak. Oh, that's pretty. What's the location? Dunwich, Sentinel Hill, three shroud, zero clues. Base of the hill is connected to each copy of Diverging Path. You can investigate here. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, put a random set-aside Diverging Path into play. Limit once per round. Oh. Resign. This is more than I signed up for. Okay. So we got to get some Diverging Paths, I guess. I think. I don't know. This one says Ascending Path. Uh, this one says the path leading further up the hill is masked. You cannot move into ascending path. We can't even go here. Oh, yet. we can't so go So we got to do that diverging path okay. thing, or else we can't move anywhere. And this is the peak of the hill. We're trying to get up that hill. As an additional cost to move to Sentinel Peak, the investigators must spend two clues per investigator as a group. Oh, so interesting. We got to make more paths coming to play. I'm assuming they'll have clues on them. I feel like they have to. So investigating against three shroud is huge right now. You yeah. just don't get clues. So that flashlight I threw away could have been a I thing. I got one. I got one. Don't worry. I know. I know. But that's just I, I'm setting up anyway. I have stuff to put into play. But it's like now I see that could have been useful already. And we need clues for this. We need clues for this. So we already know we need four clues total to even continue what we see here at least before the end of the scenario. But there's probably more. Okay, if you're setting up anyways, maybe you can go first. You'll be saying resign. We win again. <laughs> Yay. No, we can't resign. Rob's to, to blame see. for one of those tokens and Mel's to blame for the other. Yeah, That's fair. That is fair. That is exactly true, though. It's like those couples when it's like, uh, oh, yeah, we should put this up here. It's oh, like, yeah. like those couples who we, we know, you know, you know them. You may, you may be one of them. We're like one. Oh, this is. Is there supposed to be one on there? Yeah, you obviously don't listen to anything not. I say I'm ever. I'm so sorry. So I have to repeat myself multiple times. I'm so sorry. Hence yesterday in Sleeping Gods repeating numbers over and over again. Uh, but yes, that was because in the setup, remember, we had one brood that escaped. Oh, so we set yeah. up one of those. I was sorry. I was looking for the other things on the list that I... Okay, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I know you were going to talk about those couples. Yeah, so uh, those couples that, you know, where the husband goes out and buys like a new, you know, a new car or... Goes on a trip and the wife says, what the hell? I want that too. So then goes out and buys like expensive jewelry or goes on a trip or something. You know, there's like a jealousy thing. Like, hey, hey, you got to do that. I want this. Like I have friends in the past that like, you know, they want to buy a PlayStation. They bought a PlayStation and the wife's like, all right, well, I'm going to buy this. And then they're like putting each other like in the hole because <laughs> it's like a, a war. Yeah, it's like a one-up thing. Yeah, it's or, like a one-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think everyone knows. That's what it reminds like that. me of. It's like, oh yeah, you cheated and got one of those a day. <laughs> well, then I get a new, a new shiny Necronomicon, and I'll do it too. How about that? However, um, yeah, I guess you're right. We both didn't know what was going to be the outcome of both of those situations, so we didn't know yeah, in yeah. advance. Okay. I guess. Okay. Velgo, uh, people are already playing that game. Oh, I don't condone. Uh, Noodle says we skipped one thing on this setup. Check again. Oh about no, we... the broods of Yog Sothoth from a previous scenario. But then says never mind, we got it. Oh, it was that's because we, we just they about. couldn't see it down here. Yeah, yeah. I, this, yeah, yeah. This should have been raised up. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Our heads were in the way. Yeah, yeah. Big fat heads. All right. And drink game every time Mel says sorry, take a shot. Ugh. Siri. I, Siri. I don't uh, condone that game. Yeah, yeah. People will die. People doing will that be in also. trouble. That could kill people. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if anyone dies from me saying sorry too many times. <laughs> don't drink too much. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, don't tell me if you're All right, playing who's going that. first? What are we doing? Uh, you go first. You're just setting up anyways. I think so. so then yep. I can see if I can get one. First action. Gain three resources. Do I have one that makes me lose all the resources in play? Uh, I feel like I have that one. No. Do you? I feel like that's in my deck. Ooh. But anyways, I'm going to take three resources, draw a card, oh. flashlight, okay. Uh, then I'm going to play Brother Xavier for five. Okay. Then... Mm, 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 Reshroud. I'm not going to do it. I don't know. It's maybe crazy, but I'm going to do it. 
Uh, let's play the other emergency cash. Gain three resources. Draw a card. Might the wicked. Oh. Uh oh. What's this one? Revelation. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded. Attach my the wicked to that enemy and spawn it in the farthest location from you. When the game ends, if attached enemies in play, Zoe Samaria suffers one mental trauma. So discard cards from the top. You're gonna have a game where there's no enemies again. <laughs> no, there there's enemies. There's enemies. I saw oh, someone okay. was grabbing the sets. Oh, there's one. So we have a thrall. Spawn location with the most clues. Retaliate. Two two two. One damage, one horror. So this attaches to them. And spawn at the furthest location, so it's spawn at the Sentinel Peak. Okay. All right, done. All right. Don't be paranoid, Rob. He he he. Is that what that one's called, paranoid? Because it works. It makes me. It paranoid. does make him paranoid, but I don't know if you have it. What? I, I just in that situation, I probably would have just drawn a card instead of playing emergency cash, just so if like I drew into it and it wipes out a whole bunch of money, I don't. I'd rather just wipe out one. Yeah, yeah. Than all the emergency cash I just played, but yeah. I still could draw into it again on the turn, on the draw. So we'll see. All right, first action, I'm gonna play Leo Deluca for five. One, two. Three. Okay. Uh, action. Two, I will gain a resource. Action three, I will play a magnifying glass. And action four, that has given me, I gain an extra additional action. I think I'll attempt this. I'm, oh, I'm only doing a four on three though right now because I don't have any resources additional, but I could, tr oh, is there things that hurt me though? Not really. Oh, uh, just. Yeah, it's not terrible, I guess. Only one up, though. Could just actually take a resource or draw a card. Ugh. I will... I will actually gain a resource, I think. Yeah. There's some pretty expensive stuff in my hand, and I know I will get two, but... Oh, or do I want to draw a card looking for the Necronomicon? No, we'll gain a resource. We'll gain a resource. Oh, it's fast. You're right. It's fast. So I do have one more. I always forget that. You gain two resources, or you gain one more resource, and then I'll be able to play Cat Burglar. Gives me an additional agility. Okay. Two resources. Just testing. Yeah. Ignore me. Ignore me. Okay. And then that's me done. So I did one, two, three, and then I gained a resource. Four. Okay. I'm good. Making sure that I do everything correctly. Uh, yeah, see, it doesn't oh. work. It doesn't work. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but oh well. We'll fix we'll, it. Later. We'll fix it eventually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it like, wasn't doing anything earlier. Uh, and but I, I think you're right that it wasn't on yeah, yet. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't awake. That's too bad. Oh well. Okay, enemy phase, so this guy doesn't do anything, so that's fine. Uh, reset. <laughs> okay, draw a card and gain a resource. Oh, I should have drawn a card. Oh my god, I should have drawn a card. Uh, that's okay, I didn't have the resources to play it last time, but I am super excited. Okay. Fire axe, and I get a money. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, that's good. That's very, very good. Okay. Uh, a doom on the agenda. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Visions of Future Past. It's a hex. Revelation, test willpower five. For each point you fail by, discard the top card of your deck. Uh, yeah. I'm at five. Oh, sorry. Because of Brother Xavier. Oh, oh that's a bad Minus one. X, discard the top two cards of your deck. So discard Fire Axe and a first aid, so that's three. So, so it's a minus, minus three. three. So I'm at two. Two against five. So I gotta discard three cards off the top of my deck. Dr. Francis Morgan, Dr. Henry Armitage, and Paranoia. Okay. Now, does Paranoia revealing it from a discard? Does this happen? Or is this Our only state. when it's drawn in hand? Revelation. Let's check rules pop while we wait for the chat delay. Uh, was it revelation or weaknesses? We can probably look. Weakness enters an investigator's hand in a manner that did not involve drawing the card. The investigator must resolve. Oh, it didn't come to my hand. Yeah, I think it's it doesn't come to my hand, so I don't do it. Yeah, if I pass, it says discarded. Just discarded. Okay. Yeah, that's good. All I right, guess. cool. All right. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's good when I have five resources sitting here. Yeah. Get out of here. We're good? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, that sucked. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Wizard of Yogg Sothgloth. Sothoth. Sothoth. Uh, Sothoth. So he's going to pray for the person with the least cards in hand. But that doesn't matter, right? Because we're just drawing him. I'm drawing him, so he comes to me. Right? Ray doesn't yeah, matter Ray's right now. Only only, the okay, so he's gonna engage with me. He has victory on him. Nice, get him. Oh, I can't get him. Get him. You gotta get him. Yeah, I'll get him. Okay. I just need a weapon first. But he's engaged with me, so you I can. Know, I know, yeah, I know. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's us. All right. Who's going first? You. Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, so I'll spend three. I think I'll put in machete. Uh, I'll spend one. I'll put in fire axe. Oh, you won't be able to get him. Okay. Oh, yeah. I want to not do two weapons, right? Yeah. Let's just keep that one. I think machete is the play. Let me, what's his uh, four? Yeah. Maybe oh, not. Maybe I do fire axe when and just blow a whole bunch of money. The engage investigator draws a hex or a pack card. He attacks that investigator, so I guess. Oh, hex! I, I guess they're like he. Yeah, so you don't want to oh, keep okay. this guy alive. Wizard of Yogg Sothoth. Um, I could just fight him when he's engaged with you. I don't need yeah, to. You could. Yeah, so I still could do this, but he's three damage. Can you do three? Mm, no, this is plus one damage. Plus one if I have no resources. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, as long as I don't get a red thing. So I'll spend one, I'll put this in play. That that's two actions, right? Mm hmm For the last one, I will uh do fire axe to just fight him. Mm hmm Hope they don't miss. Um I'll spend a resource. Get plus two to the fight. So it's uh, two plus four is six. I'll play a vicious blow. Seven, eight. I'll need to draw from the bay. Oh, I can possibly help you too. Do you think you have enough? I don't you have know. a minus five. Oh, I would all have but to put I, it But if I do, uh, if the skill test is successful during an attack, that attack deals plus one damage. So I, I have it. no resources. So fire axe is plus one. I get the regular one. And then plus one for vicious blow would be enough to kill this guy in one shot. So, and you are total four, of four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. We did put a minus five in. Ugh, I could give you, but it's a gun. It's up to you. You're yeah, gone. I'll put it in just in case you get that minus five. This one. Go. Minus one. Minus three if it said I'm at an altered okay, location, so but I'm one. not. Okay. Thank you. This guy's dead? Yeah. Please. Three damage, right? So, yeah, three damage. He has one victory point, so I don't Boom. know where we want to keep that. Victory point, display. 
up here, okay. I guess. Okay, that feels good. One victory point already. Oh, yep. Thank you. you saved yep. me. That's what I do. All right. Okay, now I'm going to try to get these locations out there for us. All right. I will action one. We'll play a second hand item. Necro Comic Con is in play. <laughs> let's do. Let's do the investigate uh, here. So three on three, four. Let's do two. Make it seven. Seven on three. Four damage. Did I do four damage? Oh, this, is that no. plus two? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, by because, two or more. Uh, yeah, the vicious blow. Uh, I didn't think I would happen, so I didn't even like really read it out loud. But plus two damage instead if it exceeds by two or more. Yeah. yeah. So it, I thought you meant there was something else I did that was like, whoops, maybe I didn't need to play vicious blow. But that, yeah, it was definitely a very vicious blow. <laughs> uh, before you draw, also yeah, yeah. Bob saying, hope this is not a spoiler. We do know this. I did know this when I built the decks and I was gathering the cards. I saw some of the cards and it just reminded me the 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 discarding cards and we just saw them. Uh, as soon as I see the ones that are discarding cards on the top of the deck, it drives me nuts. But yeah. there is that one, if your deck is empty, take 10 damage and counter card. Oh, the so one that sticks with us? This has the set, okay. but it's mixed with a lot of sets. So hopefully we don't see that stuff as often, but this is that stupid milling you won and trying to kill you by milling your deck. So okay. we got to be careful with the draw. So if you're drawing very often through your own card effects, that will speed that up. So we just got to be careful. Okay. But uh, it also, yeah, there's something about um, not your draw deck empty. There was something about like if you have oh, so, many, so many, cards. many cards in your discard yeah. pile, you'll start suffering worse stuff. So, yeah, or, that was a thing. Yeah. So I know that's there. It's not a spoiler. We've had that happen a few times. I hate it, but just keep rolling. All right, so I'm doing the investigate test on here with three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight on threes. I forgot that I just played that. Yeah, eight on three. Did I not have paranoia in my deck list? Really? Man, I try to keep up with this stuff, but you didn't? I guess I just didn't add it in. I don't know. I always forget because remember, I don't modify the decks till like seven days later. So oh. sometimes we make notes on a sheet and we just, and sometimes we don't. Oh. So yeah. Oh, if that was added in. I'll try oh. to up I'll update it after the stream and put it in. But yeah. Oh my god. Minus uh oh, X. Discard, discard the, the top two. Okay. That's no cost. Oh, zero. No cost. Okay. So zero. Minus zero. Minus zero. So we're good. So we investigate successfully. Uh so we're going to put a random set aside diverging path into play. Your diverging path. Okay. And it attaches to something it says. Uh, uh, oh, to, to face of the hill is connected to each copy of Diverging Path. Okay. So we'll just. So right now we'll just do here. this because I don't know if it comes yep, back. Absolutely. So we'll just do that. Okay. Um, but it probably means both ways. But how many more of those do we have? I just don't want to do this more than we need to. We have two more, right? Yeah, we gained a weakness mid campaign, Nuno. Uh, it's just a problem. Anytime we gain cards, it's like. I'm updating the deck list the next week, and I'm putting in the decks uh, the cards we updated. But I forget like the previous week. Did we get something we carry forward? Yeah. And we keep it in the deck. We have it with us. Uh, it's just I may not forget to. Uh, I might forget that it happened and update it in the in the thing. But yes, I understand it does impact possible voting and what cards you recommend based, based on, on like weaknesses we have and stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, Dustin, yeah, that was very good. That mob enforcer, yeah. I mean, he's not the worst. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, it's definitely cool to have the weaknesses go. Because that one would be further away too. He'd uh, be up here. That's the guy stopping you from using resource cards, no? Or no? Yo, know, he comes with me, but yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. he. I just spent. No, he spent. Oh, I spend just to get rid of him. Yeah, he's not he's the not worst one, but okay. even so, even so. Okay, so I've done two actions. Um, there's still two more of these, correct? Yep. Okay, so Absolutely. I could do that. I could do that again one more time. So maybe that's where the clues are at that yeah. we need to like get this thing going. So maybe I actually for action three I will gain two resources with my <laughs> Necronomicon. And then for action four, I will uh, investigate again doing the same thing, spending the two. So we are at eight on three. Oh, minus five. There but that's is. still good. Oh eight, wow. eight on three. Wow. Is Exactly enough. Chaos bag will come for you. One more gets put in. All right. Which one do you want? Uh, this one. Let's do. 
just like that for sure. now. Yeah, whatever. We don't we know. Can, we can work. move them again later. Okay, and then that's me done. I could try to put the other one in, but I don't know how many enemies. Uh, this guy's just chilling. Draw a card. Resource. Perception. Ready up. That's I drew guard dog. Two resources for me. Yipe, yipe. Okay. Doom on the encounter. Yep. Draw a card. Beyond the Veil, Hex, Surge. Revelation, put Beyond the Veil into play in your threat area. If there's no copy of Beyond the Veil in your threat area, Forest, <laughs> your deck has no cards in it. Take 10 damage if you dis and discard Beyond the Veil. This is the exact card we were just talking about. So dumb. Surge. All right, I got myself... Uh, oh, wait, Spawn at the location with the most clues, and then it has a Retaliate. Uh, the one with the most clues is this one, and it's spawned with me. <laughs> Take that, game. Okay. Altered Beast. If there's no Abomination enemies in play, is there an Abomination? Mm, yep, there are, right here. Abomination and Abomination. Okay. Altered Beast gains search, so no search. Otherwise, choose an Abomination enemy, heal all damage from the enemy, and Altered Be attach Altered Beast to it. When you enter the location, or vice versa, take one horror. This one? Yep. We're attached to this one. It's already at our location. Yeah. Okay. Take that. <laughs> game in the game. Yep. Screw you, game. Oh, we didn't flip these. Sorry. All right. We're good. Gain a resource, Rob. Did you not? Oh, you're oh yeah, yeah. That's the whole reason why I wanted to do that. Whoopsie. <laughs> Again. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Wow. All right. Um, now what? We both did our card. You did your card. We're yep, all good. Yep. Uh, it's our turn. Yeah. Who's going first? Do you want to go first and see what happens to that enemy? Sure, whatever. All right. Uh, to fight. This guy doesn't alter the fight or anything. Okay, two damage. All right. Um, Plus one damage, so it's two fight. I could have five fight, or I could do the fire action and again spend a whole bunch, but I don't want to. I'm just going to try the fight with the machete, I think, uh, which says if the, attacked, uh, if the attacked enemy is the only enemy engaged with you, it's plus one damage. I only need two. It's only out of two. It does retaliate if I fail, though, but it's only one and one. Uh, this gives me plus one on my fight, so it's a five. Five on three, or five on two seems fine, but again, we've added so many bad things into the deck. Yeah, it's, it's hard to I'm not to gonna say. add any cards to my test. I could spend that two on Keen Eye to get plus one fight, but I'd rather just probably have spent it on Fire Axe if that's the case. Minus, Minus three, three, which is just enough. Yeah. Just enough, right? Ooh. Boom. All right, so this thing is dead. Attachment's gone, right? Yep. Uh, okay. Um, now what? Now what? Do you want to... To put a flashlight into play. Mm -hmm. Have it for gaining clues later. Yeah, yeah. I could gain a resource and just put Guard Dog into play as another ally. When an enemy deals damage to Guard Dog, deal one damage to attack attacking enemy. I don't know. Flashlight, guard dog, or just move. I could I mean, move. Yeah, let me just move, I think. We might figure out what the deal is yeah. with these. Uh, I'll go to this one. Oops, I'll go to this one. <laughs> right? Sure. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. No. A path of beaten trail leads deeper into the woods surrounding Sentinel Hill. Frozen Spring. So there's two clues going to go on here. Shroud of three. Forest, after you reveal Frozen Spring, lose the remainder of your actions immediately and end your turn. Oh. Well, that was the kick in the nads. Yep, I definitely okay. should have uh, played my card before okay. moving. Well, now we know. I should have just played a flashlight, moved in. Uh, okay. Yep, silly me. But that's okay, I lose an action. No Shroud biggie, no biggie. Three. Okay. Put me if you can. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, well, I can go there. Got him. Now, here's the question. Oh, do I go there because... If I, I'm now scared. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I don't have Bandolier going. I don't have that anymore. So I would, putting a flashlight into play, lose an item. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. I would just have to, I'd oh, probably get rid same. of the machete. Same. I'm not playing my flashlight either because I don't want to lose either of these. Yeah. So just use it Let's as uh, the skill icons or something yeah. on the test. Yeah, which is a 
investigate enemies. Okay. I could go here. I know you're here. Maybe that's silly, but I'm afraid to go here in case it makes me lose my four actions. Yeah, true. So we might all do something I guess I'll stupid just, like that. Oh, and does this come back? Yeah, it does. We can use one of these ones. Uh, okay. So let me spend action one to move here. And also, with, us with staying you. together it's, helps with tests and stuff too, right? Yeah. I don't and me dealing with thing. enemies and things. Okay. Action two. We are going to investigate. Uh, we have th uh, three, shred three, four, five, two to make it eight. Eight on five. Minus three. We got it. All right. Uh, action three. I can gain two resources. I'm going to just do the tests with two above and see what happens. Because I can just. Oh, you just want the resources? Well, then I can do it. For sure. I get four, another just action. More action. Oh, but it's then okay. you could waste an action, a miss. And, yeah. Okay, uh, and then I'll do yeah, the same true. thing, action four, spending the two oh, resources. Oh, yeah, yeah, So eight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Yeah. Oh, or I fail. I don't have anything that can help me with that. Okay. Sorry about that. That is me done. <laughs> okay, enemy is hunter keyword. Nobody, nope. right? No. Nope. All right. Uh, so then reset, flip your mini cards. Ready up anything that's exhausted. Draw a card. Found some liquid courage. Oh, okay. Something to drink when Mel says sorry. Right. <laughs> so, uh, I this is actually pretty good. I can discover a clue at our location for two. So I can just worry about that one. Beautiful. For free. Hopefully there's none that's higher and use it on a three and then the next one's a five. But if you went first. I know. Maybe. But then I have to, the problem is now I have to go here to here. Yeah. That sucks. That's fine. That's okay. fine. That's I don't fine. know. Yeah, I'll just keep moving and taking the fuck it, the friggin' brunt of uh, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> the friggin' brunt of all the bad things on the cards. I didn't finish the word. I don't. Think, I don't think you did. You're fine. Almost. <laughs> My frustration almost flipped I was gonna out say, there. That's some real emotion you're showing there. <laughs> These <laughs> locations are driving me crazy. <laughs> These effects that I just walk in, flip over, and it's like, boom, smack in the face. Yogi says, I blink on Mel's turn, and I don't keep track of her actions. <laughs> I try to say action one, too, so that yeah, I don't yeah. keep track, or so I don't lose track either. All right. That's funny. Sorry. Okay. Uh... Also, usually I go second, so I can plan my actions out based on what you do. So we doomed? Uh, we did not doomed. And I draw a card. Rotting remains, revelation, test, willpower of three. For each point you fail, take a horror. Thanks. Thankfully, Brother Xavier's here. Let's see if he helps me out. What are you uh, sitting at? Uh, I'm sitting at five. Sitting at five on a test of three. Mm. I'm okay with that. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I could take a little bit of horror. I now saw Liquid Courage. Maybe I can get into play and use it. Or I can put it on someone else. Oh. Minus five. Uh, even if I put one in, Man, this up. one is showing up. All right. Yeah, that's uh, annoying. So I'm zero, so I gotta take three horror. Oh. So I think I'll put two on Brother Xavier. I think. And then one on me. Yeah, that's rough. Wow. Okay. Liquid Courage only costs one, but it's an action. Oh yeah, I gotta waste actions to get rid of horror. Yeah, it makes sense to just have maybe have thrown this in on the test, but it would still would have still got two horror, right? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. rough. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, sorry, me. Be monetized. <laughs> Listen in voices. Put this into play in your threat area. You cannot play assets or events. Okay, was that an event that I wanted to play? Of course it was. <laughs> of course it was. Ooh. Okay. All right. I'll just have to get that one normally. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. Uh, I could just go first. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll spend. Let me spend. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just do liquid courage. Let's just let's just get into it. Mm -hmm. Uh, spending one for liquid courage. I'll put four supplies on it. And then I will 
Uh, I'll use one as an action. Uh, choose to investigate your location, I'll choose Zoe. Heal one horror. Okay. And then I do a willpower test against two. I have five, thanks to Xavier. And if I succeed, I heal one additional horror. If I fail, I discard a card at random from my hand, which I'm okay with. All right, so top two cards off my deck. Oh, oh Dark Horse, so no. four. So four. it's minus four. Minus four. So I do fail because I was a five yep. on two. You failed by one? Yeah, so okay. random card, discarded, flashlight. Card dog. Oh, Sorry. Wah, wah. Oh, well. oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yep. This one's tough. Yep, yep. And then. I think I just run, or I use another Liquid Courage, but then I lose this. But it would suck, too, if you get the extra damage, and then you can't even heal it anyways. The extra because damage. if you succeed, you would heal an extra damage. Or oh, sorry, an yeah, extra yeah, horror, which do you right don't now. have. Yeah, yeah. yeah, good call, good call. Yeah. All right, and I'll move. And I'm done. Go ahead. Okay, so now that I can't play events we are just going to go with my usual play of investigate spending the two resources so we have eight on eight on three i just don't want that auto fail minus three we're good so we got two okay um i'm afraid that that might end my turn so what well, I don't know what this is going to do. There's if I two actions to get there. Who cares if it ends your turn? I know, but I, I don't. I want to use that other action so uh -huh. that that's my last action. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I will use. I think it'll probably make you discard cards or lose your resources or something silly. Oh, you don't think it'll be the same? I, right? I don't think it'll be the exact same printing. All right, we're gonna. It could be, but I <sighs> doubt it. The game's never usually done that to us. Yeah. Like it just like goes. Oh, okay. It's like a different effect on everything. That's why it's random. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then. Let's move for action two. Could just deal a horror. Could deal yeah. a damage. Could make you discard a card. Who knows? Action. Okay, well, let's go check, I guess. Action three. Yeah, Yogi, I'm not sure if I can use the heal from the, the Liquid Courage to heal it off of Xavier. I wasn't sure. That's why I didn't bother. But if anyone knows, that'd be nice to know. Like, because it says choose an investigator. Can I choose an ally? I don't know. I don't know if they're an investigator, though. Yeah, I know. That's why I don't get it. Yeah. But then again, when damage is assigned to me, I can pass it around. So why can't I pass around the heal? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I forget, but... All right. Uh, so this is a two shroud. Okay. After you re reveal Slaughtered Woods, take two horror if you have no actions remaining. Oh, I have one. I have one. Oh, you went in there with actions I left? did. I did. Like I said you should? Yeah. And not be afraid of these yeah. locations. <laughs> you are a genius. Okay, okay, okay. That was amazing. I don't have to Allies are not investigators. You can't heal assets unless the guards specify so. There are some that do. Oh, okay. Thank that's you, Nuno. Good. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Yeah, because I investigated for one, move for two, move for three, and then I have one more. Uh, so I'm going to just use the Necronomicon to take two resources for next turn. Flip. Flip. Enemies. Oh, I got to put clues on here. Sorry if you're yelling at me. Oh, yeah. Two clues. Two clues. Sorry. All right. Okay. Uh, reset. Reset. no enemies are hunting or anything. Yep. <laughs> All right. Draw a card. Zoe's cross. Zoe's cross. Gain a resource. Art student. Okay, we can play her. And discover a clue at location. Okay. And still good for card numbers yeah, yeah. there? Uh, one, Doom two, on the agenda. Five, five out of 12. I'm drawing my card. As lead investigator, what is this? Oh. Right, howled. It's a hex. Revelation. Discard the top three cards of each investigator's deck. Each investigator at an altered location shuffles each weakness in his or her discard pile into his or her deck. Oh, that's funny. Okay. I'm so with... one. Uh, discard top three card of each investigator's deck. Prepare for the worst. Manual dexterity and Bob the Beat Cop. All right, I got a gun. We got Professor Rice. Oh, and a sure gamble. And I. I'm not at an altered location. I'm but not either. You aren't either. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought those were, but I guess altered path maybe would be altered. Yeah. Uh, okay. So nothing else. So we don't put those back in. Awesome. That was you, right? Yep. Oh my God, I got another one. 
Whoa, a craze. Shogoth. Okay, so Shogoth. he's going to spawn at the nearest altered location. We don't have one, do we? So he just goes to the discard pile. Oh, okay, good. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's good. He has victory point though. We probably do oh, want to kill him. Oh no, come eventually. back. He, back. It'll likely shuffle back, but hopefully yeah, we yeah. see him. The first altered location we get in play or the agenda will be like, put altered into play, go find this guy in the pile, put him right in, in your face. You have to fight him. I feel that's uh, what the. <laughs> Because it might be good. We don't get him now because then we'd have to fight him, then fight him again and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I blink scan. What did Mel do with her fourth action? I took two resources. Stop blinking. <laughs> yeah, blink on Rob's turn. You need to sit in one of those, like, you know, all those crazy chairs, the eyes that keep you open <laughs> that they used to, like, torture people and brainwash people <laughs> back in the day. You gotta watch with, like, a screen in front of you, eyes held open. So it's <laughs> over. All right. All right. Um, uh, I didn't gain. My resources, though. I gained one. So. Because I gained two resources on my turn. Okay. So it's our turn. Oh, this goes. This is done now. It is our turn. I mean, I could go first because I can 100% get those two clues with, by playing these. And then we would see And then we here? would see what's here. Sure, If let's that changes anything. Okay, so let's spend two resources to put an art student into play. I can play two allies because I have charisma. After an art student enters play, uh, discover one clue at your location. Yeah. Okay, and she can be some damage soak if That's needed. That's right. Okay, then I will. That was action one. This is not an. Uh, this is not an action because it's fast. Spend two. Uh, play during your turn only. Discover one clue at your location. So that was not an action. Okay, so now we have four. I've only done one action. We will have to automatically do Boom. this now. When investigators have collected the requisite number of clues, they must immediately spend them in advance. A sacrifice made. During your search through the wooded paths around the base of Sentinel Hill, you come across a startling, a startling sight. Startling, sorry, startling sight. A herd of sheep lays dead upon the ground in a secluded clearing. Their bloodied carcasses placed in a strange but careful pattern. Holding your nose against the stench of death, you step over the mangled sheep on your way to the center of the odd formation. In the center of the sheep lies the corpse of a man. A clear jewel has been firmly pressed into his forehead, paving in the front of his skull. His eyes are wide, his face contorted in a vision of fear, as if beseeching you for mercy. Though you know better, you check for a pulse. As you touch the man's skin, the jewel in his forehead dissolves, and the woods around you seem to clear. The arcane presence masking the path further up the hill has faded. Reveal ascending path. Remove all clues from each location in play. Oh! So we're going to reveal the ascending path. Okay. I'm assuming, right? It's just, oops. It's just flipping it over. So it's a three shroud location, zero clues. Ascending path is connected to each copy of altered path. And we can investigate oh, okay. as an action. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, put a random set aside altered path into play, limit once per round. So it's the same so it's deal. The same as these. Yeah, so these just put them over here. Over this way. And this will have oh, its own. This one also had to change to a double sided. Sorry. Oh, this is my hand. Uh, all right. Oh, and these connect to each other now, right? If I'm reading this correctly. No, they don't. No. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This, this connects. Star, or plus goes back to plus. This okay, and yeah, this yeah. goes here. Okay, we don't know what this is yet, but it might be on on something else. I don't. Know. We'll find out. There's no other symbols on there. We haven't flipped this one over though, or we don't know what's connected. Yeah, to this yeah. Yet. So that's why I'm saying it could be anything from here. All right. What is doing? Reading those. Okay, great. Thanks. All right. As you ascend the hill, the environment around you grows increasingly strange and otherworldly. The arcane energy feels even stronger here, crackling in the air and crawling on your skin. Clues cannot be placed on non-altered locations. Objective, when investigators enter Sentinel Peak, advance. That's the... Oh, yeah, this is the new act we have, right? This is the one that's specific to us, Act okay. 2. And we know there's Act 3. Okay. When investigators so, enter Sentinel Peak, this advances, and clues cannot be placed on non-altered locations, which I'm assuming altered locations are only the paths that attach here called altered paths. Right. 
And then we need to spend two clues to get so in we there. Can't, okay. There's no way to make clues appear on here or reveal, reveal new, uh, I'm assuming new um, divergent paths, whatever these are called. Yeah, diverging paths. So we can't reveal any more of these and get clues off them and just keep like doing right. that. Okay. So we got to now move forward and forget this, I think is what it's trying to say. Okay. Well, I only have done one action, so I will, we're ready. We can continue, right? Yeah. So I will move for action two. I will move for action three, and I will just set up by gaining two resources for action four so that I can try to do that two times next turn. Okay, mm -hmm. and that is me done. Uh, oh, you actually still get to go, right? You haven't gone Absolutely. yet? Absolutely. So then actually rewind that last thing, I'll just try. That's right. Yeah, sorry, I thought, that, <laughs> thought I was, I was like, going come last. On, man. I so, don't want to tell you again, but you'll just tell me no and take money. No, I thought that you'd already Go gone. Yeah. So let's do three, four, five on three. Five on three. Oh, I have stuff in my hand. Yeah, it doesn't actually. fail on you. I'll put in but two more. Five, six, per seven. round per investigator, right? Mm -hmm. So I could try when yeah. I go there too. Yeah. So I'm at seven on three. Minus one. We got it. And then mm -hmm. I get to also draw a card. Okay. Uh, so we get to put one into play. Altered path. Three choices. What do you want? I'll take the middle one. All right. All right. Well, yeah. They're likely going to go. Double arrow, so, yeah. yeah. Let's okay. put it over this way. Like it's our first one. Sure. Okay. All right. And then that's me done. Sweet. Okay. I'll move. All right. And then I'm going to play Zoe's Cross for two. And for three, I'll move in. So this is uh, a giver courses up your spine as you step forth into the path, onto the path. Its root is touched by a bizarre arcane power. Uh-oh. A tear in the path. So two clues will go on here. It's three shroud. It's a Dunwich, a woods, and an altered forest. After you reveal a tear in the path, take two damage if you have no actions remaining. And that is my last action. <laughs> so, two damage, uh, which I will just put that on Brother Xavier. Okay. Split. Enemies. Nope. All right. Reset. Draw. I got Dark Horse. Pickpocketing. And I take a resource. Two resources. All right. Doom on the agenda. Draw card. Dissonant Voices. Uh, so I can't play Assets or Events right after I drew Dark Horse. That's great. Fabulous. Beyond the Veil. Surge. Put this into play. The same card you have if I get this card. Sorry, if I have no cards. In my deck, I have to take 10 damage and a gain search. Ancient Evils, place one Doom on the current agenda. This could make it advance. It's not going to. Yeah, sorry, I just need the questions about Zoe's Cross. So uh, it's her deck only after an enemy becomes engaged with you. Exhaust Zoe's Cross, spend one resource, deal one damage to that enemy. So. Oh. I know at least one enemy I think is going to engage with me at some point in the scenario. Mm -hmm. I assume more, but we'll, we'll see. Sometimes setting up all the weapons and cool things, uh, those are the ones where I never get enemies. So it kind of works. I scare them away, I guess. Yeah. All right. Um, we're good to go. Uh, yes. I don't know what to suggest here. Uh, I suggest you go first. Try to reveal another location. Okay. Or Did you can just move in and start searching and... I can, I don't know. Yeah. I'm debating playing Flashlight and just getting rid of, like, Machete. Now that you have the Fire Axe? Yeah. Well, I had both at the same time, so I didn't get that later. But just to maybe start helping with the clue gathering, to speed things up, I, I feel like this 12 we don't want to hit. Um, that's, like, a very high buffer. If we fail that, I feel like that's really, really, really bad. Yeah, and we only need two to get in here. For Investigator. For Investigator. Yep. But we also need to spend investigation to reveal new locations. So, like, you're doing, like, so many tests to get clues, which yeah. it only takes a few turns. But, I mean, enemies show up, things interrupt, you're not allowed to do this, you're not allowed to do that. Yeah. Lose an action here, lose an action there. 
Uh, I feel like yeah, I need to step up. If I'm not fighting enemies, I need to start getting some clues, possibly. Mm -hmm. So that's my plan. Maybe I'll just stay where I am and I try to get some clues. Yeah, I can reveal the okay, other one go and try first. to go into right. that one. So I will spend two to play a flashlight. I'll get rid of a machete. Okay. Uh, then I'll put three... Oh, you can't play an asset this turn. Oh, that's right. That's right. Thanks, Pontus. That's right. I'm thinking of not playing Dark Horse because I can't. And then, yeah, but I can't do that either. Okay, so in that case, um, you want me to go first then? Well, no, I'll just. Oh yeah, because like, I could also I reveal doing? the other one. Yeah, and, and then, then you can decide. Yeah, based on what it says. Or okay, yeah. so then sure. let's do our test here. We'll spend two resources, so we have three, four, five, eight on three. Zero. We got it. This one. All right. I will. Oh, oh yeah, not, shoot. Yet. not yet. Not yet. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, got excited. I could move there, though, so we you can You don't need see. to. I can, too, on my turn. So if you so just want to go, go and work on the node. Okay. okay. So then... or, or you go there and just work on those. I stay here my whole turn. I just draw and gain resources or something. And then the start of my next turn, I flashlight it up if I can. Because this will go away. Hopefully yeah. I don't get another one. Yeah. And then I just work on what's there. Sure. I, I don't know. So I'll go to the unknown. Okay, so I will action yeah. two. I uh, actually, I'm going to gain two resources for action two, just in case. I'll have one left, one action left. But this one's gonna make you throw I know, your resources. I think so. And then I'm gonna move for action three. So I still have one. All right, we found uprooted woods. Two shroud. Two clues are going here. Forest after you reveal uprooted woods. Discard the top five cards of your deck if you have no actions remaining, but you oh, still okay. do. You're good. I'm good. So let's oh. see what they did. They tried to trick you on like, when should you have actions left? When should yeah. you not? Yeah. They're freaking messing with you. I love it. Yeah. Okay. And that's only a two shroud. So that's not terrible. I have one more action. I'm going to three, four, five, five on two. I think I'm just going to go for a straight five on two. Um, yeah, we're going to go five on two. See if we can get one of these. Uh oh. Reveal another chaos token. And then cancel the effects and icons of each skill card committed to the test. I didn't put any in. Minus two. And I went five on two, so I'm good. That one. All right. Then. If that is better for you, I, I mean, oh, yeah. I can then swing back. That's like a lot of actions. But you might need to go there anyway, because I probably won't be able to get that done. Uh, oh, yeah. Did I already go? No, nope. I didn't go yet. I went first. I mean, the other option. I just don't want to like. I have to move, move, probably fail the test, and then I'm sitting there like an idiot, and then I can play flashlight, which I wish I was there because I'm not going to waste actions to move back. No, no, that's very so, true. But I do have another option that might be good. What? If you end your turn here, mm -hmm. I go first, collect a clue for you, because we just need to spend it as a group to move in there for someone to move in there. So I can collect a clue for me. I don't get that. Because we need two clues as a group. So if I went... No, two clues per investigator. So four as a group means it can be on any player at the table. Doesn't doesn't oh. have to be shared. So you could have four clues on you, and we spend them. That's done. Just as a group means on anyone, anywhere at the table. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was two clues. No, nope. And then you move four in. Four clues total. Yeah, I thought it was two. So you can't do this until four clues. So it could yep. be three on me, one on you, four on you, zero on me. Yeah. All at once, spent. No, I understand. And, it, and it, it's revealed. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was to move in. You need to spend two clues. No, nope. two okay. per investigator. So that's actually a number four. Yeah. Okay. So read that as four. Yep. Spend four clues as a group. Yeah. Okay. So then, never mind. Get dark horse in. I know it's like you can't though, right? I, I'm holding the perfect. Like I drew dark horse. I'm like I have three money. This just goes into play. No problem. We're good. But then I drew dissonant voices, which says, "Yeah, yeah, ha 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 ha. Nice try, pal." And says I can't put assets or events into play. So instead, I'm just going to spend my turn. Uh, I will draw a first aid, and I'll just gain two resources, and that's my turn done. Okay. Uh, enemies, no. Flip. Yep. Draw a 45 automatic. Another cat burglar. Gained another resource. Gained two. Okay, we'll put a doom on this agenda. We're now at eight out of 12. 
I'll draw my treachery card or whatever they're called here. What is a treachery? Frozen in fear. Error, revelation, and put... Oh, yeah, this should be gone at the end of the round. That is... Yes, this yep. happened already. Okay, discarded. Uh, so this is, sorry, revelation, put frozen into fear into play in your threat area the first time you perform one of the following actions, move, fight, or evade. Each round it costs one additional action. Okay, so while I can play a flashlight and do some investigating, that's not on the list. Force at the end of your turn, test willpower of three. If you succeed, discard it. Well, I have lots of willpower, but as you see, I fail those tests no matter how much willpower I have, so. Keep drawing these enemies. Devotee of the key. Spawn, uh, oh, wow. base of the hill. Okay. Force, at the end of the enemy phase, Devotee of the Key moves one space towards Sentinel Peak. If Devotee of the Key is already in Sentinel Peak, discard it to add two Doom and add two Doom to the current agenda instead. That's so cool. Oh. So it goes right here. Okay. Base of the hill. So he'll slowly move his way here, then to here. And if he gets there, he puts two. Yeah, he discards himself, and then boom. So he's like... Uh, He's like the uh, necromancers in Zombicide Black Plague, right? He's he's on yeah. a on a set path, running to where he is. You need to kill him before bad things happen. Okay. Okay. So interesting. We can worry about him next turn. Then maybe when he moves here, like if we just try to get the clues this turn, mm -hmm. and then maybe we try to fight him next turn. I don't know. Okay. Um, did you want me to go first or you to go first? I don't know what the best. Idea here. I don't know. We can just see how I do with clues, and then that determines whether you need to go back there or not. Yep. Okay, okay. so I will start my turn. I'm going to spend uh, two on the flashlight, and we'll get rid of the machete. Three uses, or three supplies. Put Dark Horse into play, too. Yeah, I'm going to put Dark Horse into play. Mm, yep, because it'll help. Uh, or, I don't have a way to spend one. Mm, I do this. Or maybe I don't. That's okay, I just don't get the bonus off of this. Or instead of playing Dark Horse, three back. Okay, so I have two actions left. This is free. Uh, I get plus one. Yeah. So I'll spend two to get plus one investigate till the end of the phase. And now I'll investigate. Or I guess I could do it after. So this is minus two shroud to the location. So it's a one. So I have two, three, only three against one. Yeah, only three against one. Mm. I mean, three against one. Minus mm -hmm. three, of course. I should probably just spend these other two to do that. Uh, yeah, I should have. Dude. I'll fail. If I spend it now, I'm going to fail on it anyway. So it's like, it feels so pointless. I'll just do it. Sure. I'll raise my investigate, do my final action. So it's now four. Oh, actually, I'll do it with this flashlight. Four on one. Yeah, I messed that up. I didn't think it would be that bad. Minus okay. three again. Okay, so this one succeeds. And I'm done. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I will investigate. Uh, three, four, five, five on three. I will. Yeah, we want this to succeed. So, then two. So five, six, eight on th eight on two, eight on two. Uh, this one is minus one, minus three instead. If you're in an altered location, which I am, so this is minus three. But I was up by five. Okay. Action two, I will move. Action three, I will move. And then I'll try to do it again here. So eight. Eight on three. Oh, on that one, that's up by seven. By six. Minus two, we got it. Okay. Sweet deal. All right. So just as an additional action to move in here, we now have the four to spend. Okay. As a group. 
But it, I, it's like, I don't think we all have to be there. Just the person moving in. Mm -hmm. We just spend them off, all of us, and we're in. Yeah. Okay. Enemies. Okay. Enemies. Uh, this guy, this moves, guy moves at one. the end of the enemy turn, which is now. Yep. Okay. So he's here. Okay. Uh, reset. Draw. Another magnifying glass. Oh, that's good. I don't think I need it now. Oh, I forgot to do the end of my turn test. Willpower. End of my turn test. Oh, so I just wouldn't have had that magnifying glass if I uh, want to help you. Willpower of three. That's why I wanted the dark horse in. Whoopsie. Uh, so I have one. I have five. Five on three. I can give you one if you want. It's your call. Because I have two of the same card in my hand. Five yeah. on three. I'll put a cat burglar in for one. So six on three. Six on three. Minus three, that's it. Oh, you did it. Thank wow. you. No problem. Without so your then. help. I would, I would still be frozen in fear, but you've given me the warmth I need <laughs> to thaw out and get rid of this card. And now hopefully nothing bad comes with this one that's going to happen right now. Uh, you got your resource and drew your card? Uh, card, no. Draw a card. Vicious blow. Gain a resource. Okay. Add a doom. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Nine out of twelve. All right, an avian thrall. That's a hunter. While it's being attacked using a ranged fire armor spell, it gets minus three fight, but it's a five. I don't have a ranged weapon, but it's going to engage with me. I'll gain a resource. Uh, I'll Zoe's cross it in the face. Uh, after an enemy comes engaged with you, exhaust Zoe's cross. Spend re one resource to deal it one damage. Is that the right play, though? Because it's a four, four health. You can do three. And I have to, yeah, well, three, but that puts it one away. Oh, no, I mean, if you did one with Zoe. And oh, then wait, I did do... draw Vicious Blow. Yes, okay, yes, this works. We'll spend one and hit it for a damage. Right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I forgot, yeah, the Vicious Blow could be that third damage I need, uh, at least, on the one attack. Okay. So now you Surge. have the same thing. Uh, I already have this in play. Oh. Uh, put good. this in play in your threat area if there's no copy. So I this yep. just gains surge. It goes discarded because I already have yep. one. And now we have a crypt chill revelation test of willpower four. Okay. Will and if you fail, choose discard one asset you control. If you cannot, take two damage instead. I have a student art student. Okay. Oh, okay. So uh, four. I have three. Remember, it's like you have an art student, you can I'm just going to discard the art student, anyways. Uh, yeah, so like, so why it waste doesn't matter. Resources on it doesn't matter. Good still succeed. Minus one. We fail. So the art student will be the asset we choose to discard. Okay. And Quipster's here. Good morning. Hello, good morning. All right. Uh, uh, we're good to go. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so I would just fight the thing mm -hmm. here, but then there's this guy also. That if we don't deal with him now, he's gone. But I might get lucky, fight him first, move in and fight this guy. Mm -hmm. Possible. But this guy's a three damage. So unless you fight him also, he's only a three to fight. Do Doom on the current agenda. We're sitting at nine. That would put us one away. And at the end of the round, we'd then yeah. flip it or the start of the next round. So if we don't kill this guy, for sure this is advancing now. Otherwise, we could buy ourselves two more turns. I could just take this guy with me. But then you're going to take... He just deals me one damage, one horror. That could hit Brother Xavier. And that deals two damage to an enemy at my location. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, because I can go there and I can try to fight. I don't have... But if I remember correctly from Age of Madness, there's a giant boss man, big, huge monster, big round... Body, four legs, lots of arms, and goopy stuff coming out of it. Uh, that we need to fight there, yeah, but maybe not. I don't know, but I just feel like there's a bigger fight coming. So, blowing all my, my Xavier on that, I lose that plus one willpower mm -hmm. for the whole rest of the scenario. That's a, that's a tough price. We can just go with your first plan of you attacking this guy, then moving, attacking this guy, and then I can try my best as well. I have an overpower in hand, so I can. Try to do what I can. Although this guy, he'd still attack first. So on the attack even, if we leave him, and I go there first, he engages with me. I don't have Zoe's Cross anymore, unfortunately. But when he engages with me, uh, then he will attack me first, which I then could get to Xavier at that point. 
and then he gets destroyed. So I'm probably better to kill this guy and not do the retaliate thing. Try to kill this guy, move in, even if it takes two to fight this guy, just move in. So this guy engages with me, mm -hmm. I get a money out of it. Then in the enemy phase, he still attacks me. I put it on Brother Xavier. Brother Xavier dies, destroy this guy. Mm -hmm. And then we're, he doesn't move away and we're good. Yeah. So I think okay. we're okay. okay. I think we're okay if all that made sense. So John's here. Hello, hello. For those interested. Oh, you, oh, you played both. You played both Carnival Zombie and Mage Knight since last stream. You madman. Good luck. I will leave since I have been waiting. You played. Oh, this is waiting on your shelf. Oh, okay. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, spoilers. Run, run, run. That's awesome. That's suggest. awesome. <laughs> that poll was pointless is what you're saying. That's you, what we I was wasted saying. our time is what you're saying. <laughs> it's fun though. It was a test. We did a test. Just wasting our time. No, I'm just joking. It's all good. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think that plan is... is all right, so I'll start. Mm -hmm. So this guy is going to get some fighty fight happening here. Fire axe time. Um... I have no resources, deals plus one damage. And then I can spend one to give it extra attack, which I will do. I'll spend one. Uh, so we're at four, five, six, seven, eight on five. I can put in an overpower because once you start fighting here, I won't be able to help you yeah, anyways. That's true. So I'll put an overpower in for two more. So, so you should be at 10. 10, ten okay. on five seems yep. okay. I, yep, I'm down with that. Oh, it says at the end of the enemy phase, devotee of the key moves once towards Sentinel Peak. If devotee of the key is already at Sentinel Peak, oh, okay, so there's one additional turn. Then you discard it and add two doom to the... Okay, so it's not instantly. Okay. It's at the end of the next enemy round. So okay. we have one one more turn, assuming we get in there, and then we can fight him there. But then we already still have one enemy there. We don't know what this is going to do when it flips. So it is still better to try to get him if we can now, Agreed. I think. Yeah. And we don't know if another one gets drawn. If this there's like, you know, five of these guys in the deck, I don't know. Uh, but another one could come and start again. So like... Yeah, yeah. Let, let's try. I, I want to try to get him now if we can, because it might be harder to do that here with multiple enemies engaged with us. But we'll see. Yes. Minus one. Okay, so you pass, so I get So to I do even extra damage. And I get to draw a card. So I think we're good. Yeah, mm -hmm. so plus one, regular one. This does whatever. Boom, see you, buddy. And this guy's gone. Uh, oops. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to move. And this guy will engage me. I take a resource off my ability. And then we'll fight. I think I'll do similar stuff, although... You just need at least one damage on him, right? Yeah. I might as well spend a resource to get plus two. He's a three. So I have four, five, six... Six on three. Oh, maybe I pull my blue. If I pull my blue. That's the way I can do plus one damage. Okay. But I just need to get that one. Hold on. Let me feel around until I find it. <laughs> I think it's this one right here. No. Minus one. Still good. Damn, it felt the same. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> still All right. good, though. So two damage. So he's one away from dying, right? Yeah. And I mean, you could if you just can beat a three with like three on three is what I'd be at. Yeah, if only you held that overpower. Oh, I wasn't sure. I'm just kidding. All good. Okay, so I'm done. Okay, I mean, no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to set some yeah. set myself up here a little bit. Like, then. I can take the hit, it's fine. Okay. So, I, mean, we're I, gonna... can even, I can even take him just hitting me. I don't need to fight him back, but. He will still move away from me, though, but I'll do it here so he doesn't. So we just have one less enemy to deal with. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is action one, I will gain two resources. Action two, I will play a cat burglar as my second ally asset for four. So I get plus one agility and I, as an action, I can exhaust a cat burglar, disengage from an enemy, engage with you and move to a connected location. That action does not provoke opportunities of attack. That's two.
For three, I will gain two resources. And then I think for action four, oh, I probably want to move to you. We can be together. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to be in an altered location yeah. from things that we've seen drawn off the deck. Yeah, I want to come to you. Okay, done. Okay, enemies. Uh, so this guy will attack. I'll put the damage and the horror on this guy. My brother Xavier is toast. And I think I can do that simultaneously, right? I think we discussed that, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. So he had one and one remaining. Put both on him. He's dead. My brother Xavier is defeated. Deal two damage to an enemy at your location. That's this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no other enemies. This guy doesn't move or anything. Reset. Draw. Another flashlight. Gain a resource. Working a hunch. I don't think we need that, but I gain two. Okay. Doom on the location or on the agenda. It's not twelve yet. No, it should 10. be ten. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go. I, I called it. Oh, I felt another okay. guy was coming. Uh, so this guy goes base to Sentinel Hill, same same business. So he's not. We don't have to deal with him right now. Okay. But he's ending the enemy phase next turn. He'll move. Visions of futures past. Revela revelation. Test of willpower. Five for each point. Fail by discard top card of your deck. Mm. All right. Mm. Uh, three. Just gotta hurry. I know. Three. Okay. Three on. Three on five. Simultaneous. Perfect. Thank you, Yogi. Three on five. Oh. This is minus a... one. Yeah, you're not at an altered location. So Good I am moved, like I said. two on five, so three. I fail by, so I need to discard three. Discard top card of your deck by three. One, Liquid Courage, Hard Knocks, and Guts. Oh, that Guts would have been helpful on these. Okay. Okay, our turn, right? Oh, this should be readied up. Mm -hmm. All right. Do we want to go in? Uh, I'm probably just want to get two more resources and play a dark horse. That's literally my turn. I think I want to go in with a little more, yep. a little more oomph if I can, yep. just in case we're about to fight something and just that extra, any kind of stat test is great. I just feel like I'd be upset if I didn't get it down. But again, uh, you can move in first, but the only problem is you're going to engage with this no, thing. No, I can just, I can play pickpocketing, um, which is after I evade. If we evade enemies. The only other problem is at the end of the enemy phase, this guy's going to come in our space, and then next turn I'll have an enemy engage with us. So, could move ahead and ignore me putting in Dark Horse, and maybe I do it later. I probably won't get that chance. I'll have an enemy engage with me. So it's like, the only thing is then this guy now. The he'll, other... he'll come and engage with uh, Lead Investigator Chooses. Yeah. The... Unless you've already moved away, then I get him for sure. Which is fine. I can take him. I, I have no problem taking him. It just means next round I'll be fighting him, hopefully dealing enough damage in one shot, because I can always cross him, fight him, he's gone, and then I have one last action to move in with you. We could also say he engages with me, because I can easily... But if you're gone, I'm saying. It's up to you what no, you No, I'm do saying if we stay there. Oh, okay. Because I can unengage him and then move without provoking attack. Okay, whatever so... you want to do. Yeah, and then yeah. we can just so, run in here yeah. and get the scenario going yeah. faster. I also am thinking that potentially it's not the flip that brings the boss man. I feel like it's oh, this. Oh, it's that. Okay. That yeah, so we might have one extra turn, so but should we just I don't know go though. In there? I don't know. Should no, you, well, I think we set if up. If you go first, you go in and check. I don't. I don't want to take that guy though. Oh yeah, that's uh, right. I could, but then I have to move back if I disengage him. I yeah, could move in and about... see. I was saying if this guy. Oh, yeah. Maybe you check what's going on. I think coming after, so then, and, and maybe I don't need Dark Horse, and I just go for it, I don't okay, know. Okay, I'm just going to put this guy on this side so that I can, uh, like that. Okay, so then I'll go first. I can also play pickpocketing, so when I do disengage from that enemy, I can draw a card. So, action one. Untap Rob. You did it already. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Let's play pickpocketing. That was action one. Action two, we're going to go in here to the Sentinel Peak, or I'm going to. We're going to spend our four clues. One, two, three. If you will spend your clue as well. Yep. And we will see what is happening. Uh, so we got Sentinel Peak. It's a four shroud, four clue uh, location here. Dunwich, Sentinel Hill, forest. Investigate this location draws a hex card. That investigator takes one damage. So I'm assuming we just got to... Oh, this happens too, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. When an investigator enters Sentinel Peak, advance. Okay. 
which advancing is Crypt the Pattern. Approaching the peak of Sentinel Hill, you're confronted by several citizens of Dunwich. The man in the center of their circle chants in Latin, while the others bow their heads in reverence. Seth Bishop? You ask presumptively. The man in the center raises his gaze in response, confirming your suspicions. You plead with the man to stop this madness, but he doesn't respond. You draw forth the silver constellation pendant you found on Silas's body and present it to Seth. This is all we found of your brother. You shout over the howling wind. Is this the fate you want for yourself, for all of us? You throw the pendant onto the ground. Staggered by the sight of it, he stumbles backwards and trips over his incantation, eyes widened. As he falls, the altar behind him splits open, and a torrent of energy pours from the stone, swirling into an open gate that swallows the man whole. You barely manage to dig your heels in and grab a hold of the nearby rock in time to resist the pull of the gate. Remove the set-aside Seth Bishop enemy from the game. Oh, okay. Oh, so you would have been one victory point. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, oh. victory point. So you were point. too fast, then. Well, no, this was what we got from oh, that's doing what we got, yeah. something in previous. Yeah. So he could have probably had a fight saying, with him. Yeah. But we've lost but we, that opportunity because yeah. we were so awesome before, I guess. All right. Okay. So a gate opens. This is Act 3. We need the four clues, which Are right there. is right there. Uh, okay. From the ruins of the headstone on the altar at the hill's peak, a gateway of churning, vibrating, uh, vibrant energy has appeared. A force like a hurricane erupts from the gate, bending trees and pulling debris into it. The howling of the gale drowns out all other sound. Somehow you must find a way to close the gate. Objective. Only investigators at Sentinel Peak may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. We need four clues to advance this, which are right there. Get them done, and you have to hurry up because hex cards are going to make us lose. And that's a victory two. Victory two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, we got this. Let's we got this. Okay. Yes, Yogi, sorry. This one is evade, not not engage. Exhaust, sorry. So this guy's engaged you, right? Yep. For going there? Yep. So then... And where was that? Actually... Hold on. Where did that go? Oh, right here. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Okay. So you're here. I'm here. So I have used... Two actions. Which were what? Which were... Move in and... And play pickpocketing, which I probably shouldn't have done, oh, yeah. well, but that's okay. That's okay. Because I thought it went with this, but it doesn't. Uh, womp womp. But I am going to actually... Just pretend you didn't read the card right and put it back in your hand and undo it. I wouldn't be opposed to that because you can't RTFC. <laughs> okay. I mean, would you... No, I've saw... I've, it's okay. I've seen information. Um, let's do... I'm actually going to take an attack of opportunity. Oh, if it's fast, do you still take an attack of opportunity? Uh, no, because no. it's like a free action, I think. So Right? Fast and the little squiggles are free actions. You can do those without getting punched. Yeah. Because okay. then otherwise, how would you be adding like yeah. fight to a test You're and right. stuff like that? You're right. Okay, so I'm going to spend two resources. So play during your turn. Discover clue at your location. That didn't Woo. cost an action. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, I could evade him, yes, and draw a card. Your but... Turn. I think, because this also lets me move, so I think I'm going to, so I've done only two actions still. I will spend an action here, so exhaust him, disengage from an enemy, engage with you, and move to a connected location. This action does not provoke attacks of opportunity. You know, I, I think, you know, you, your live stream might be a little behind if you're hearing this. Just check your uh, bar at the bottom uh, of the live stream on YouTube and just scrub it all the way to the end, uh, because it's like you're answering things that are like two minutes late-ish. Uh, when other people have already commented, so I don't know if maybe your stream might be behind. I have it sometimes on YouTube where it'll like if you pause it or just the YouTube will buffer and like jump back or or not be live anymore. But yes, thank you for that. It says Mel, just a heads up: disengage cat burglar doesn't combine with evading pickpocketing. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, which is why I was saying you could totally undo that because you didn't understand that those don't work together. You played them under that assumption. Yeah, I did. But now learning that, we haven't seen too much new information. I don't think that would change any of that. So you okay, if you're it okay with it, then I, I think so. Okay, then I'll put that back in. Like, why so, would you waste an action on something that you knew wouldn't work with it, right? Yeah, I thought it so did. So like, then when we're I, yeah. learning here. Okay. We're learning. It's fine. So then I have done one action, one action to move in, and then one action to disengage. And this disengage also moved me. The fast didn't count as action, so I've only done two. Okay. So this doesn't get exhausted because it wasn't invaded, right? Right. I don't think. I just disengage. Disengage from. Each enemy engage with you and move to a connected location. This actually okay. does not. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. So then, now that I'm here, I'm going to do something. 
And I don't know, I, I'm thinking that this might be smart. I'm going to play a flashlight. I'm going to discard the magnifying glass for two. I'm gonna put three uses on him because I have another magnifying glass that I can play after. I think the plus one that I'm getting from this is yeah, not as good as the minus, the minus two. two, especially on a fuller shroud. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. So plus with the resources that I get from this, I might yeah, be able yeah. to get that faster. And then once this is done, I will then put the magnifying glass back out. It's just my thought. Uh, so that was, and then I have one more action, which I will just use to gain two resources. So I moved, I disengaged, I played the flashlight, and I gained two resources. Oop. Okay. Four. This and yeah, you're free, you did a free fast. I did a free fast, and this one also moved me back okay. for free. All right. To make sure I didn't so cheat there. So I think I am just going to play Dark Horse, right? It's yeah. Nothing. So I'm going to take two resources and then play Dark Horse, spending three resources. Oh, Nuno Stream was delayed. Oh. I knew I, <laughs> you're not the first. It's happened before where somebody's like always commenting and they're a few minutes behind. I, I start to tell after a while. I didn't realize that at first. You're pretty quick, but <laughs> then I started realizing a oh, wait. He's saying things just like two minutes late, like after somebody has also already said it. Yeah. So it's like he's watching delayed. I can tell. That's cool. <laughs> we awesome. figured it out. Welcome to the future, Nuno. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the future. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so I'll flip. Okay. Enemy. Uh, this guy doesn't, they don't attack. This one does do a little move. We can have him engage with me, right? Do you want him or do yeah. you want him? Okay. Because then I gain a resource. I okay. could then spend this resource, smack him with a damage, right? Right? What? Using his always cross. Yeah, yeah. I was Why say, not? The only other option is if he engage with me, then I disengage, you go first, take this guy, I disengage from him. But again, then he's going to get there. I could just fight this guy. But if we want to just fight them to fight them. Yeah, I could just fight him, hopefully then, yeah. kill him, and then move in and engage this one. But then you don't have Zoe's. And then fight and kill him. Yeah, he's only, only a two, two. so yeah, you're right, you're right. three. That's why I like using yeah. the Zoe's cross. You're right. I shouldn't have used the Zoe's cross last time on the four. That was kind of silly, even though I felt wrong about it. But then again, I, I was betting on the Vicious Blow not doing the plus two, but again, it worked. So it's like, maybe, yeah. I, maybe I need to have faith in the Vicious Blow play. <laughs> But that time you have faith in is when it's not going to work. Yeah, I know. All right. Uh, so the enemies are done. Yep. Uh, unexhaust. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you're good. Yeah. Okay, actually, you would be good. Okay. Right? Yeah. Did I not do that right before, maybe? Oh, no, they came off the deck. And, yeah, because yeah, it yeah. came from this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, draw. Oh, yeah, right set. Right. Uh, physical training. There is a way I can spend one resource, but I don't think I'll play that at this point, but... Oh, medallion. Okay. I, again, I think it's too late for that, but I can maybe try. Doom. We're at 11. 11. Right? 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully it's not one that puts Doom on there. Test. Uh, willpower for each point you fail. Of course, I'm the one who draws this. That's just how it works. Uh, so, willpower. I lost Brother Xavier. Um, oh, willpower. We're together, though. Uh, oh, I... So, I'm not plus right now from Dark Horse because I took a resource. I can give you... I can give you two. I'm, I don't, I'm a four and three. I, well, I can give you two. And I have nowhere to put that horror, so I'd be taking it directly. No, I'll, I'll put two into you. Because I, I, I can't get this going now. I'm going to put a physical training and a first aid in, actually. Yep. Yeah. I'll put two cards in. Yeah. So one, two, six. Seven, eight. You, are you sure? Yep. You don't have to. No, I don't want you to take horror. Well, I still could draw red and fail. Yeah, but what are we, eight on three? Minus, Minus one. one. Okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. Uh, so where was that? It was here. Don't lose anything. Please go to the discard. Light of Afor Bowman? Sure. I don't know. Sorry. Peril. Okay, so you can't help me with this. You must attach this to either the current agenda or the current act. Limit one per act or agenda. Treat all damage as direct damage and all horror as direct horror. So that means you can't assign it to anything else. You so have to put it on your character. Let's do it to this one because this is going to go away soon. I assume, is that how that works? I don't know. So if we attach this to the agenda that's about to flip, does this disappear? Because it's, it's not attached to the deck. It's attached to the actual agenda card, I think, right? So if we like do it like this, it like goes in between. Yeah, if it doesn't go away. I would assume, right? Otherwise, it doesn't matter. Then we just touch. Yeah, because why would I get to pick, right? I think. I think that's how it works. Great Scott. 
All right. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. Okay. So All let's right. do that. We're, we're, we're getting it. We're getting it. Okay. All right. Sweet. And that's why I guess it gives you the option. Uh, yep. Then that's me. So you go ahead. You want to go first with what's happening sure. here and see what we can get done? All right. Uh, so I'm going to fight this guy. I'm gonna spend, oh yeah, I don't know why I keep leaving resources on things, but I'll spend a resource on the uh, Fire Axe. So this will deal two damage. Uh, I'm also plus two fight, so I'm at four, five, six, seven on three. Right. Plus, uh, minus two is fine. Yep. He's dead. See you later. Okay, then I'm gonna move in. I'll become engaged with this thing. The thrall. I get a resource because it became engaged with me. I'll sm Nope, that's pointless. Well, she'll stand before you could get any other and anybody else anyway, so it's up to you. I fought, I moved. I can fight again, so right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'll keep the resource. I'll do another fire axe play. Oh yeah, it caused a resource. Yeah. Well, the fire axe only cause resource to add extra. No, I was talking about this, but yeah, either yeah, way. Yeah, this cause a resource to do one damage, but if I'm about to do two and I could spend that resource to get more. Yeah. I was being silly. I just like trying to remember to use the card, but it's like, wait, I'm using it more than I should really. So I'm attacking with fire axe on this, plus two. Now I have no resources, plus another one dark horse, three. So I'm at seven against two. It will do two damage if I succeed here. Minus four. You're good. You're seven on two. Nice four. Okay. So I don't take a mental trauma now. I fought off my weakness. And I'm chilling like a villain. I just don't draw a hex and we're all good. Oh, yeah. But I have nine health. Well, eight health. So, I mean, I can sit there for a while. It's fine. I do have flashlights, though. Actually, this will go away. Oh, you don't have a person to put it on. Never mind. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... I will spend action one to move. Mm -hmm. Action two. Get all the clues. I will investigate. I will spend a flashlight to make it a two shroud. Yeah. I will. Pop your uh, street wise. Yeah. Uh, so we have three, four. I'll spend two resources. It's just the two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven. So seven on two. On two. Minus four. Wow. Seven on two, so we're good. Plus one, you're up by one. Okay. Then I will do that again for action three. Mm -hmm. Spend the resource off flashlight. Spend two resources to go seven on two. Minus two, we're good. Um, I don't think I can do that again. I could. You could just test. I could just test. So. Unless you want to Move, save test, it. test. Yeah, I can. No, I could try because worst case, I can spend resources and stuff on the next one. So what would you be testing at? Uh, if I spend it, I would be testing at three, four, four, four on, on two. But I can put. Oh, I want to keep the. Uh, no, I could put in the magnifying glass too because at this point, we don't need any other clues. I don't. Oh, well, we don't know. I don't know what's going to happen when this flips. I mean, if well, we just put this, that. hopefully that ends. It's resolution. Yeah. Hopefully that's just a resolution on the other side. We're we're golden. Do you have something that you can help me with? Um, I don't know. I'm not holding a card in hand waiting for you to play your card. Yeah, okay. So I'll try. We'll yes, try. I Let's try. Help. I can help. Okay. So That's why spend, I'm like excited. Let's do this. Spend uh, the flashlight. So flashlight's done. This is so two. two. So I have four. four. I'll put one in for five. Six. Six. So six on two. Six on two. Red token. Zero. Right. Yes, Yay. we got it. Okay. You got this. Uh, what does it say? Only investigators at Sentinel Peak may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. Yeah, it doesn't cause action, so we can do it. Want to do it? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. We peer into the abyss. You don't know how close to the swirling gate. You don't know how to close the swirling gate before you, and with each passing moment, the force within it grows grows in strength. You fear that whatever ent entity the sorcerers have summoned from beyond approaches. With no time to spare, you turn to the open tome on the stone altar, desperate for answers. Resolution one? Yes. Well, I don't know if that's a yes. Well, when we failed last time with resigning and defeated, we went to a resolution one. Oh. So I don't know. <laughs> no, I always thought one never, is the always, best. No, that's not how this game works, I don't think. Random it. I don't know. Maybe it is the best. I don't know. 
Oh yeah, we can we can do it on the screen. Uh, on the multiple columns. If no resolution was reached, or each investigator resigned or was defeated, go to resolution two. See, it's different in this one. See, last one was one, so it's like they met. They do it on purpose to like to, to make you not for sure know what to do. Uh, resolution one: the poorly bound tome appears to be the written records of old Watley, the man who taught Wilbur the ancient secrets of sorcery. You find a passage describing a place outside of time and space where worlds converge, and Yog Sothoth dwells. Only by reaching this nexus at the edge of reality can you unmake the tear that has split the open world. Feeling as if you may be going to your doom, you muster a final ounce of courage and step into the gate. In your campaign log, record that the investigators entered the gate. And then it says, uh, oops. Each investigator Earns experience equal to victory X of each card in the victory display. Which, this is victory two, victory one. So we get three? I don't see anything else. Nope. We saw that one guy who left, uh, Seth Bishop. Who yeah, and there was another option in there, but we... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah we, we discarded did, yeah, it, right? we discarded it. Yep. I'm just gonna <clears> the craze off we missed. I'm just going to peek if there was other options for... Is there another craze? So no. Oh, that was the one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Son of a... <laughs> Why couldn't that have been the enemy I dug for and found, maybe? That's cool. That was neat. Was that it? Yeah, that oh, was it. Oh, cool, cool. That was it. That's a okay, boring so have... resolution, but... No, no, that's no, that's we... okay. I'll scroll and look if there's other stuff. Nope, the next one is the next uh, scenario. So we have three... Next page is the next scenario. Three XP. Yeah. Again. Okay. Step into the gate where doom awaits. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I know, right? So wow. we'll wrap up the stream. So when the stream ends in a couple minutes, for those watching live, uh, actually, I think it's when it's done processing the archive. So it might be like 30 minutes from now, an hour from now. Depends how long the stream is, I think, and how busy YouTube is processing videos and stuff. Uh, but once the stream archive is processed and the comment section will open, uh, and I'll put a pinned comment down there with instructions. We have three XP each. Yep. Three XP each to spend the final time, I think, right? Because uh, the next scenario is the final one. So how do we spend three XP for alternate Jenny Barnes, novella Jenny over here? Uh, or how for Zoe? And I don't think a saving it is a real option, is it? No, I think Probably we just not, spend it. Unless there's a test at the end of the next one. If you saved experience... Oh. You get the better ending. Who knows, right? Yeah. But anyways, know. comment down below. You can look at the deck list. I will fix the deck list and take uh, add in the paranoia we got. I got. You probably got one that we didn't add in. We'll double check. Yeah, we'll deck. double check that. I'll up the. I'll update the deck list descriptions right after the stream. And in the comments section down below, you can recommend how you we should send our experience or vote. Hit the thumbs up button. Even if you do recommend one, you can vote on other ones. Vote on your own, whatever, by clicking the like button on the comment you'd like us to do. Upgrading our decks going forward. So again, the deck list will be linked in the video description. And then you can put comments of your suggestions if you see one you don't like. And then hit like buttons on the ones you like. And we'll next week on Sunday, 11 a.m. Eastern, when we go to start episode 9. Uh, an hour, an hour and a half before the stream. We'll look at the results. We'll upgrade our decks. And we'll be ready to go for the next stream. So you can help impact on how we spend our experience going forward. Thank you to everyone who's voting and suggesting uh, options and whatnot. We do appreciate it. Did you pick up the lime ginger? No. no. Mel, Mel was going to go to the liquor store last night. I was going to, yeah. But instead, about it. but instead, because of lineups and weird things and COVID lockdown coming soon, uh, we instead, she just went to the grocery store where they sell like beer and wine, but they don't sell like yeah. that kind of liquor. So she just grabbed some wine. I already had some gin and stuff. So I did have a couple of gin and yeah. tonics last night. Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> it, was, it was nice to yeah. relax with that. Definitely. Definitely eased the neck pain a little bit as, as I relaxed a little bit. Yeah, but. you could tell on stream today it wasn't as bad as yesterday. Yeah, you could definitely. see when you were it, turning It is hurting yesterday. like a little bit, but it's not like it was yesterday. Yeah. So anyways. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yes, thank you. Thank you for that suggestion. Yeah. But I do want to grab some of that still. Definitely. But it's like, we just gotta, yeah. I just don't want to wait outside in a lineup uh, and then, you know, have to go through the procedures in, yeah. in, the, in the liquor store to get checked out. It's like an hour and a half adventure. Especially when you already have some. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. We we're just don't right have now. that flavor. But yeah. I do friggin' want that stuff mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. 
Uh, and what else? Jim saying three victory points, Rob. Now you can buy the mini chain gun upgrade, even if you have to make the card up. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so I'll get my drawing skills going. We'll cut out some paper. I'll put in a sleeve. I'll, you know, draw the chain mini gun. Elko says, good game. Have you decided on what game will be on Saturday and Sleeping, Sleeping Gods? No, our Patreons and uh, supporters and, and producers and our members on YouTube will be voting on a poll to decide what games uh, we play. Mel and I just have to put that list together. It might only be two games to choose from. It might be three or four or five. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Just got to look at the list. But yeah, that should pop up later today or tomorrow. Uh, and those who support the channel have a direct impact on what they get to watch on the channel. Yeah. So thank you for thank your support you. on Patreon, joining the channel, donations, all that stuff. You guys are all awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. you. Uh, a little medicinal gin is not a bad thing. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Can you buy the gin online? No, Ponce is not here. I don't think here. do that in Canada. Yeah, in Canada, it, like uh, alcohol is still pretty regulated. Uh, the fact that beer and wine are at grocery stores was like something in Ontario. Uh, I don't know what it's like in other provinces, but in Ontario, uh, actually, I know in Quebec you can buy like liquor at a variety store and stuff, but in the convenience stores and things. But in Ontario, the the beer stores, uh, the beer and the and the wine didn't show up in grocery stores till like a couple of years ago, maybe or less. Yeah, it's recent. I feel like this been it, it took forever, like lots of politics and stuff getting that happening because they like the the government like controls or they owned where liquor and beer is sold. That place is literally called like the Liquor Control Board is the name of a store for real. Like where you buy hard liquor is called the LCBO, Liquor Control Board of Ontario. Like it's government run, or it was. I don't know if they privatized it. The beer store, again, is funded by the government, controlled. They try to control alcohol here a little bit. It's not full out prohibition or anything, um, but it, there's like lots of regulations around it. So the fact that grocery stores were able to carry beer and stuff, there's like politics there of like, you know, money is going into the government's pocket through buying alcohol and they control the prices. And it's very expensive. Like beer and wine and stuff in Canada is like, I feel like the prices are jacked. Mm -hmm. Because we go to the U.S. and it's like, whoa. Yeah. Like, I'm looking at the exact same beer and it's like, and I do the conversion and everything. It's like way cheaper. Yeah. So it's just like the government has their hands in it and it, it's it's messy here. Uh, but companies are trying to fight and like, you know, take it private and all this stuff. But there's still like price fixing and stuff, which is silly. And a lot of taxes and things, which makes sense. I think they take money from the sales of alcohol. The idea is they take that money and they invest it into healthcare, Because if, you know. People are drinking a lot. It leads to like deaths and, you know, alcoholism and, you know, issues can be argued. Same with smoking, right? Putting all the taxes on cigarettes and then using that to fund health care because, you know, smoking tends to lead to more people taking hospital beds in the long run mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. So the theory there is like, why not support the healthcare system with that money? I, I, I don't know. Like people who drive should be paying to help make the roads better. And those who don't drive should, shouldn't. I, I don't know. It's that whole thing. Again, I don't know exactly how it all works. But Elaine says that's right. And I could buy beer and wine at the grocery stores here in Quebec for years. Yeah. yeah. I remember yeah. going to Montreal and we're like at a hotel. I'm staying there for a tournament. I'm just like go down to buy something at the, you know, at midnight. Go down to the convenience store at the gas station. And it's like, yeah, it's right there. Yeah. I could buy it no problem. In the U.S., same thing. I can go in any store, any time of night, 24-7 it feels like. But here, like grocery stores at a certain hour, even if they're open 24 hours, have to stop selling any alcohol, any alcohol at a certain time. Yeah. And they announce it over the PA, like, you have 10 minutes to buy any alcohol or you're not going to be able to for the rest of the day. Yeah. Like they're very, they're very restricted here. So well, the I... fact that they have limited hours, they're heavily controlled and the COVID restrictions just equals to me like a nightmare to go into that store where it's the only place to go. To get lime flavored gin, I yeah. can't buy it online. I can't go to a grocery store. I can't go to a convenience store. I can't go to a gas station. I literally have to go to the one and only brand LCBO to buy that bottle, and everybody else has to go there to buy any kind <laughs> yeah. of any kind of hard liquor. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I think with uh, since COVID, I do think that they are offering curbside pickup, but I don't know how they're. Yeah doing that all, the, all these teenagers like yeah get, i think there's some the, yeah with the fake ids they're just pulling up in their car like let's go throw it in the back yeah there's probably some restrictions there but oh the u.s does have a no sell after a time oh okay i feel like i've been in some 24 hour places in like indiana but maybe, in indiana but maybe it was dark but it wasn't like after midnight yeah maybe it wasn't like middle of the night 
But I feel like we've arrived at some hotel rooms after midnight for sure. Yeah. And been able to walk into some liquor store that's open very late and we're buying whatever uh, to stock up for the week. Yeah. Get through all the pain of walking around a convention for 16 hours a day. Help you relax at the end of a yeah, yeah. stressful and convention day. And take advantage of those nice liquor prices. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, definitely. We did drive by a Pennsylvania liquor store uh, owned by the state government here. We call ahead. We could call ahead. Oh, cool. Well, that's cool. Oh, 2 a.m. is. So 2 a.m. you can buy. I know 2 a.m. is like a last call. Yeah, here, here, like here, yeah. In an establishment. Yeah, if you're being served at a restaurant or yeah. a bar or a club or whatever, yeah, they have to stop selling liquor at 2 but in, you, in the morning. Yeah, but. but if you go to a 24-hour, we have 24-hour grocery stores that sell beer and wine, but you can't buy them after like 9, 10, 10 9 or 10 or p.m. Or like once the actual liquor store closes, you can't buy alcohol anywhere. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it depends on the state, yeah. I figured. Yeah, it depends on the state. Yeah, U.S. is state to state. Same with Ontario, or uh, same with in Canada, sorry, province to province, same idea. Mm -hmm. Same idea, like Quebec's next door, our friends in Quebec, they have all, like, they're allowed to start drinking at 18, uh, we have to wait till 19, and then across the border, U.S. is 21. It's yeah. like, even, even just, like, literally, like, 45 minutes, an hour drive for us, crossing a border, or, you know, five hours to cross the border into Quebec. Uh, yeah, it's just different rules literally on one side or the other. It's, it's, it's weird, but it's the states crazy. are the same. Yeah. State to state is different. In Louisiana, Cynthia could get drive through daiquiris. Oh, that's <laughs> fun. <laughs> oh, that's fun. We used to we drive saw, through. We saw, yeah, we saw dri yes. drive through liquor stores in Ohio. Yes. Yes. In Ohio near Cedar point. I remember we'd like leave out there and we'd see them and you could just like drive up to, uh, they're even like got a roof over yeah. and you could drive like in. And it's like a just, car wash, yeah. if you would think of it as a car yeah, wash. it looks like a car wash. Driving up into yeah. a car wash, and there's someone in there selling you, like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Like, snacks and liquor and, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. Seems like a fair reason to move to Quebec. Uh, we don't speak French. Yeah. But you don't need to. Yeah, I know you don't need you don't to. Need you to, don't need to. But, but yeah. There's certain areas that it's more acceptable not to, but then there's certain areas where you should. Yeah. You should, or you'll kind of be in, in you'll, you'll have a rough time. Delaware, you can start serving by 9 a.m. Bloody oh. Mary for the win. Nice. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Nice. That's interesting to hear how it's different. I'm not a day drinker. Quipster prefers pot. It's legal here in Washington State. Oh, it's legal here, too. Yeah, it's legal here, too. It's legal yeah. here, too. Um, but yeah. Interesting. So weird. So weird. Why can't everybody just get together and figure out the best standards? Yeah. You know, the best yeah. health health standards and whatever, safety, and everyone put all their knowledge and testing together, you know, crime rates and this and that. This is what happens here. Put it all together and use the knowledge the world needs to come together. And then they just go, here's what it's like everywhere. Yeah, because how can... I don't know. Maybe how, not. How can That's in a, Canada... That's a big dream that will never happen. But Right. In Canada, how can you say at 19 you can drink, but if, if someone under the age... Of 21 from the U.S. comes to Canada, they can legally drink here. Yeah. Like, what is the difference? There's no yeah. difference. And I think 19. But I think it's just they did it at some point based on data. So old. Like, based on data, right? Yeah. So, like, it's a reason why you don't let a 12-year-old drive versus a, I don't know, 16-year-old well, or whatever it is. But 16 is, like, across the board. It's called politics. I know. I know. Right? But it's not saying, I think everywhere is the same age for driving, is it not? I don't think you can drive in one place and not in another place. Mm. Can you? I don't know. Well, it depends on testing and stuff. It's different, right? Just don't serve minors if you're an adult. Buy a brewery if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, don't, I know it's politics, yeah. but it's interesting. It's just, like, too bad. But Canada is socialist, and you all don't like freedoms, is the thought of some people. Yeah. More based on religion? Okay. Oh, yeah, religion, yeah. too, yeah. I don't want to get in trouble. We've gotten in trouble for these talks at the end where we kind of go into like, you know, politics and religion and that kind of stuff. Uh, we've kind of told to keep it off the channel. It's just like, you know, hopefully you just stopped watching by now if you don't want to hear it. Because obviously we're not talking about Arkham Horror anymore. But uh, anyways, yeah, we'll try to keep out of it because, yeah, obviously our views can be different from others. And but yeah, 
You can close your I ears think, and click, yeah. the, click the X button. I think that we're everyone's just kind of sharing their what's allowed in their areas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just, it's just it's, neat. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. You have learner's permit at 15. Is that what it is here? I no, I think here, you're, you, I think here you have to be 16, which is, that's what he's it's saying. It's like different oh. everywhere. Interesting. Brian says, never talk about politics and religion to anyone unless you want to fight. Yeah, that's... I, I'm not pushing anything, though. That's nope. the thing. I, I'm always curious, and I'm open. I'm very open, and I do not mind hearing other people's thoughts. And, like, you know, I'll make jokes, of course. You know, I'll make jokes based on the information that I know. But I am open. I've been convinced by different people teaching me things I didn't know. Even about gaming, the same thing. I say this in gaming. It very much relates. And a lot of this stuff spawns from, like, when we talk about, uh, you know, um, vaccines on here, it always spawns from like the idea of crossing the border, going to conventions, eating some of you lovely folks in person. The reality is I want a vaccine and I'm pro vaccine for that reason. And it's related to gaming. It's related to me playing Arkham War with you guys in person. So I feel that's, that's relatable to talk about. I'm not telling everyone they need to get a vaccine. I may have said I want that to happen, maybe, but like, I'm not going to look at you different if you say, I don't want to get a vaccine, screw you. That's your choice. It's yep. all good. And if you vote for someone I don't vote for, or if I'm making comments about your politics in your area, like I can't affect them anyway. So yeah. who cares what I say? But uh, but anyways, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we would never yeah. want to try to influence anyone yeah, to do yeah. anything that's not within so, their yeah. So I just remember that. So sorry. Anyone who's like, you know, doesn't want to hear me talk about, you know, vaccines or making fun of, you know, former President Trump or something. Again, I'm just doing it based on the information I get from what people have told me and things I watch. Everyone has different perspectives and different things that affect them. I'm sorry if anything I make fun of, you know, if I make fun of, you know, a certain politician or a certain policy, but it affects you directly and it's bad or something or it hurts you, I'm sorry. Like, I don't mean to. We're also watching from the outside. Yeah. So there's a difference in yeah. what we actually yeah, know. I don't mind you guys making fun of our premiers and prime ministers and stuff. Rip we will on do our the politics. same. I do the same thing. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're all open. It's all jokes. I think all politicians are basically corrupt. They're all in it for power, you know, that kind of thing. I don't take any politics really seriously. Um, and things always change. People always lie. They say whatever to get in. I, I yeah, there, there are a lot of scumbags in politics, that's for sure. Uh, when money's involved, there's lots of opportunity for scumbags. Lots of opportunity for scumbags. Uh, I'll go say, politic, political correctness is killing critical thinking. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone is very yeah. careful. Yeah, and I'm sorry say. if I stumble again. I'm I'm ignorant to certain things. I don't always have all the information. But yeah, like I say with board gaming too. I said this. I used to be like, I don't want to touch anything with a cube. I don't want to touch Euro games. I I like you know games with this and games with that. But man, people have shown me things and taught me things that have opened up my mind, and I'm willing to change my opinion on things. Always, 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 mm -hmm. always. So if I'm ripping on, I don't know, what I make fun of a lot? Candyland Legacy. I always joke that should never be a thing. You guys are funny. But hey, I could play Candyland Legacy, you know, which is like a running joke. And some people comment, is that a real thing? <laughs> uh, I don't think it's a real thing yet. I'm surprised it isn't a real thing. Because little kids would love ripping up cards and oh stuff. Oh my god, imagine. And, write, and, and writing their names on the boards yeah. and cards and things. It's genius. Imagine. Somebody needs to do that and get rich off of it. Or a similar game. Um, but yeah, if I played Candyland Legacy, I might be like, wow, uh, I changed what I said. I was dumb. I, you know, I changed my mind. Uh, but yeah. Oh, Dragon and I are working on it, says Brian. Oh, they're trying to make it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll get it printed and we'll play it on the channel, blow people's mind. Then we'll get sued by Hasbro or whoever owns uh, the Candyland license. You gotta do like uh, you gotta do like what uh, Jamie Stegmeyer did at um, at Stonemaier Games with the whole uh, when he printed the or when he did the publish the print and play version of My Little Pony Scythe or whatever it was and change it to like My Little Scythe. Uh, you need to like find a a way to not name it Candyland. Something to do like you know, I don't know. I don't know what you could do, but something something legacy. But yeah. it has to remind people of Candyland. It could probably use the same fonts and things, but just can't be the same words. Yeah. Trademarks and copyright. 
and all that jazz might be a small issue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah you exactly have to work this. around that, but exactly. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Velko's actually very right about this. You can we can all disagree on 99% of topics, but at the end of the day, it doesn't prevent us from being decent neighbors to each other and drinking a beer together over the 1% of topics we do agree on for gaming. That's very true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like with religion, I'm very like, uh, uh, I, I'm not religious at all. I, I don't really believe in that stuff. But hey, I've had friends, I've had, had girlfriends and stuff and family and stuff that I've, I've like gone to church. I've been to all different kinds of churches and mosques and stuff. And like, uh, yeah, I just, I'm not against that. I, I'm okay. Like, I, I'll go if I'm invited, that kind of thing. But uh, I, I've never changed my mind and become like religious because of it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to be like, I hate you and I hate you because of what you believe in. Never been that way. I'll never be that way. And um, you're always willing to hear. Just don't be a dick to people. Yeah. That's, that's it. Like, yeah, that's the only thing I'm very strong about. Like, don't be, don't be a jerk. Like, just because yeah. someone doesn't believe in the same thing. You don't have to be mean to each other. That's that's yeah. the part that, that bugs me. But yeah. anyways, that's where I'm at. Again, that attitude can change too. <laughs> Sweetville Legacy. Sweet World Legacy. Gumdropville? Yeah, there's lots of names out there. You guys are on it. Funny. Tooth Decay Land Legacy. Sugar Overload Legacy. <laughs> Paper Children Legacy. Anyways. There's debate on that too. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. <laughs> all right. Anyways, we're gonna get out of here. Thank you, everyone, for joining us on this Sunday. Rob is like that guy from the movie The Mummy who prays to every god to save him from the mummy. <laughs> 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 yes. Yes. Uh oh, Locator's here, getting blocked on the YouTube for what he said. Uh, I missed the stream, but arrived to hear Rob's word of wisdom. Don't be a dick to each other. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's literally exactly what he what you I think. I'm like Will Wheaton said something like that, too. That's his like thing. That's his thing. Yeah. I don't know if it's like exactly that way, but something about the same thing. Like, just don't be like rude to each other. Yeah, like there's no no reason. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always I'm always curious to learn. I like learning stuff, obviously. Yeah. Um, ADHD territory. Oh, <laughs> Anyways, uh, yes. Enjoy the rest of your day, Jerry. Thank you so much. Thank you. Everyone else, thank you for the support. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, we'll see you next week in the next episode of our Horror, the Living card, way, card Game, the Dunwich Legacy playthrough with uh, Lost in Time and Space. Don't forget to recommend deck uh, or vote on deck upgrades down below. Oh, yeah. Don't be a dick is Will Will's thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I knew it's something along those lines, and I'm like, Man, that's exactly how I feel. I'm like, that guy uh, has the right thought, I think. Yeah. Um, be most excellent to each other. <laughs> most excellent. Yes. Anyways. Yeah. Thank you all. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll see you in the next stream. Bye-bye.